everybody. Fucking Brotaku Block. This is episode 11. Let's get into it with Prince Petty, Jim Leader Brock, the mighty Mauricio Good, and Tiffzilla, aka the Tiffmeister. What we got this week, fellas? So, this week we have. We watched Demon Slayer recently. We finally watched the Mook and Train movie. So, how'd y'all feel about it? Fire. <laughs> I loved it. It was good. I didn't yeah. cry. I didn't, so I didn't expect to cry because, you know. I had a spoiled for you, so I didn't cry. Oh, goodness. All right. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't set your heart ablaze? I mean, I, it did. Who but, spoiled it for you? Right. We can... uh, the internet. Um, I'm trying to remember the exact moment. Oh, it's fucking Ergo, <laughs> Ergo William <laughs> in, a, in our little anime group. He posted a meme. I was like. I know what the fuck this means. God damn it. Like, and then I hit uh, Christine up. Uh, shout out Christine and her uh, her podcast that I can't remember the name of. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> just know she has a podcast. I was like, what was the meme? Uh, it was just one of those like, it implied that everybody in the picture died and it had like four, six different people. Damn. And, yeah, what the fuck? and it was like, did everyone in the picture die? Well, I mean, I knew at least like three of them that died and then. One of them was a Demon Slayer character, and I was like, "Nigga!" Like, and I and I already knew that they were talking about spoilers being on Twitter, mm. and like the manga spoiled it, so people knew it would be a movie spoiler. Oh yeah, and yeah, yeah. I read the manga over one year ago. Yeah, but, I cried when I read the manga. Yeah, man, that shit was heart wrenching. Yeah, I was shocked when I read it because I was just like, "Oh, that was quick." Yeah, I was upset because yeah, I liked that character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. right? Yeah. Lion man, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it it R.I.P. Toto. <laughs> you keep you keep putting that on Toto, but I'm here to say that not all of your favorite characters die. Most of them, but that means there's Spike a chance. Spiegel, Jiraiya, Toto. <laughs> Toto doesn't make get it. clapped. Nah, yeah. Toto gonna get clapped. I don't, I don't prepare, know. So this is one of those prepare things. Prepare your hearts. <laughs> the only reason I think Toto might survive is because they don't allow Shonen power ups in JJK. Like when Ninja got mad that first fight and then uh died. The, yeah, no <laughs> <laughs> the shit he was fighting chopped his hand off. Like, nah nigga. I don't care if you get upset. Cut his whole hand off. And we really haven't even seen his full power yet. He's kind of been chilling. Yeah. yeah. Totally he break a sweat. Which means he'll like, die. Yeah, he, oh, he really didn't. <laughs> like he was having fun. He was having <laughs> fun fun. <laughs> nigga, I do this on my off days. He's like, Oh, did you figure out how my how my uh how my power work? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you exactly how it works. Oh, still ain't figured that out yet. Oh, oh, you got hit again. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh. <laughs> clapping trees on Earth Day. Man. No wonder, no wonder he likes big booty girls. <laughs> clapping, <he> likes- <laughs> you know, clapping cheeks, clapping hands. Yeah, the only thing he's now, clapping. I'm thinking about that. I don't know if it's a Meg song, um, Meg song, but she's on the song and the on the beat. There's clapping. <laughs> <laughs> It's Toto in the back. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> mm. Why hasn't someone made that a TikTok or a video yet? Yeah. <laughs> Give it time. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, I loved it. It was, I think it captured the manga really well. Uh, it felt kind of long, but it wasn't long. It, it had good pacing. And there was yeah. no filler. Yeah, there was no filler. No like filler. It, dri- it straight yeah. up did the thing. I think the only thing that was different was Inosuke's... Like the way they did the art in the manga versus how they animated it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There was a difference there, but that was like the only thing I caught. Yeah. And I think, I didn't go back and check. I think that they left, uh, what's the nigga's name? The demon? Kaza? Mm-hmm. Something like that. I think they left his little demon monologue backstory out this time. Mm-hmm. Unless it comes later. I can't remember. I don't remember. I don't know. I, have I don't remember, like but he didn't have one in the movie. Yeah. So that's, that's I mean, a good yeah, point. In the movie, I think they left it out. Maybe because he didn't die yet. Well, I guess they did show the monologue of like. Yeah, he's not dead. Right. Yeah, he got yeah. away. Yeah. I, just, so. I thought they had given more flashbacks than what they did mm. during that fight, but maybe not. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I know the other one didn't get any, which is hilarious. Yeah. Oh, That's yeah. Fine. Yeah. He was, a, he was a fucking. That's fine. We don't need Tanjiro crying. <laughs> yeah. Like, over some oh, nothing. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, we shared a bond. This is the first time Tanjiro didn't feel bad for somebody. Yeah, he just let that bitch die. Oh, yeah, because he was losing. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. There, there was a lot. Yeah, he because he, he got his ass busted up and then there was a lot going on. He didn't so. feel bad because I, I think because he made him relive his family being alive. Oh, yeah. He, yeah. yeah. There was no. Yeah. yeah. He did him nah, dirty. Like, we... 
that was that was like if I I'll, I don't care if I die, you're dying with me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That was a bad that was a bad move because it didn't work, and then it came out with all the smoke. He yeah. just had to it. kill himself a hundred times. Right. Yo, yo. <laughs> literally. Yeah. yeah. He's like, it's not that my power isn't working on him. <laughs> He's got mad resolve. This shit is crazy. crazy. <laughs> Living out every Our millennial's like, dream. <laughs> <laughs> I go all day, nigga. Mm. <laughs> I'm with the shits. <laughs> oh, man. All right. But What's next? so before we move on, did y'all know about the TikTok Deku Aaron Yeager thing? No. no. Huh? So, like, apparently people were going to the movie theaters and saying that shit, like, during the Funimation part of, like, the, like the opening of the movie. Yeah. What are they doing? What are they, su- what are they just yelling like, because I guess like kids are like, we are weebs and we just want to like show off to our parents that we're weebs. So like, let's be weebs and say the thing. People were doing it. That's cringy. It is very cringy. Wait, mm-hmm. wait. So there's like whole articles about this. I don't know what you're talking about. Is it a spoiler? No, no, they no, literally no, no. They're just, just saying the names. It. They're saying random anime yeah, shit during the Funimation opening part. What? Yes. Yeah. Like, you know, uh, being they weird. Ding, 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 the Funimation, like yeah. that. Pe- yeah. yeah. So, what are they doing? They're just yelling, they're just yelling the names shit. Of like, characters. They, they yell Aaron just, Yeager and, like, Deku Aaron and, Yeager. like, random shit. Deku! Look. Baka! Look. <laughs> yeah, like, literally. Look. Tifron, six, seven years ago, was very anti bullying. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> we letting these kids get away with too much. They just want to express themselves. Look. If, if if someone had done that in our theater, especially like two two rows in front of us, because we had to space out, there was like nobody in there either. Yeah, so yeah. we're good. Yeah, yeah, very like they they ways. were getting cussed out. Like, I mean, even though the movie hadn't started yet, like I let me hear my ding ding, like let me hear my Funimation bump, like and you just start yelling shit out. <laughs> Imagine they just start singing fucking Tokyo Ghoul theme song. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My child. <laughs> Bitch, I don't give a fuck. Oh boy, wah, mao, shin What does that even mean? <laughs> Nani. <laughs> Nani. <laughs> mm. That shit would backfire you, and that kid would be like, "See, he's doing it too." <laughs> He's one of us. <laughs> so I have eyeball hanging out. <laughs> we share a bond. I true believe. <laughs> I knew friendship would win. <laughs> I would sit my ass down at that point. <laughs> it's like, shit, he got me. Mm. <laughs> there was a bond for him today. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, shit. But yeah, so Overlord announced they have a fourth season coming and a movie, so... Is that the show with the skull face dude? Yeah, man. Yeah. It's actually, I like I've only it. seen season one. It's pretty good. I've yeah. seen season one and I stopped watching. You didn't like really? it? Really? I did not like it. I thought he was wow. too overpowered. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, like, uh, I, I think I was already hitting that isekai uh, fatigue. You needed a break. Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah. I like right. Overlord, though. See, I'm I, on season two, though. Even, everyone says, tells me to make it to season two and I'll start to care. Yeah. But uh, I like it because it's like. Not to say it's different because it really isn't different, but he's so like analytical about his shit and in the sense of like game strategy. I don't think a lot of the isekais are like that. It's more like, oh, I have power. Like, yeah, let's just do this. He's like very like thoughtful and melodic. Like the spider the, the, is the skull dude, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The spider's like, he's like that. yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. spider's very much like. <laughs> is yeah. it a harem? Because he are... it's. Borderline, it is yeah. borderline. Yeah. He got that one bitch, he, right? Yeah, he got the he got the, the horny, got, yeah. he got the horny demon chick. Yep. Yeah, like, I thought was kind of funny to me, but I think I got tired of it, or maybe the rest of it wasn't enough to like keep me going. I don't know. And then he's got but, like the him her um thing person, like twins. No, because it's like it was a boy, but it's a girl. Yeah, yeah, like literally one of yeah, those. Yeah, yeah. We don't they don't really express. Yeah, I can't remember which one's which. Unlike an assassination, they don't classroom. look like the way they sub- <laughs> like you would think naturally what they would look like. Mm. Yeah, they're like kids. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> <laughs> so Goku we were like, Day. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Goku Day is May 9th. And one of the announcements that is coming out from the, you know, celebration of it is that they announced that the Dragon Ball Super movie, the next one's coming out in 2022. Can we get a series? Can we get another season? So (laughs) fuck comicbook.com because they already 
putting the shit out there, like as confirmed, but it's not. But we know it's it probably is gonna happen because yeah, yeah. yeah. But well, uh, they said the creator came out and said there was going to be another movie. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, but I think I just wanted to say fuck comic book dot com. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Cross I mean, they have possible they have, sponsor off the list. I'm sorry. They have leaked a lot of stuff. That that's all the they past. do. So that's how they get their like, clickbait, man. Yeah, like they don't care if it's nope a lick of truth. They'll put it out there as if it is, mm-hmm. and just see what happens. But get they get they ad. So get like when we were them. like getting like the podcast together, uh, Jim Lee to Brock. Uh, I went to comic.com and I was like, I guess let me see if I could find something. He was like, Man, you you brave. <laughs> and then I looked over his computer and he was on IG and then I was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so to be, con- uh, to, to, you know, we'll see what comes out. To your point, there's no season that's been announced. So like, we don't know mean, what's going to be a, they, about. They said it was going to be some Brawly, you know. Oh, like continuation. A continuation. Oh, okay. So. That'd be dope. I'm down for more Brawly, yeah. yeah. Didn't he get his ass whipped already? Brawly? Yeah. Uh, Not really. I mean, it took a whole ass fusion. I mean, he's no Jiren. Like we know, Jiren power scale wise is like stronger than him. But. What if he's like the hero in this one? Because he because he wasn't yeah. the bad guy. Yeah, and I think that's what they were going is like. Now they have another person on the team. Yeah, he's an ally. Yeah. Plus, we know that there's like the other four universes that were just too powerful to be in tournament of power. And you know, now that Broly's getting ass, he's going to be a whole different man. Like, maybe it's just a <laughs> it sex might tape. Make him weaker. Maybe it's just nah. a sex tape then. <laughs> it's like when they tell you to not have sex the night before a game. Oh, like yeah. he like turns into like the other Broly, like the black haired Broly. So, yes. you, so you think <laughs> they show up to fight the new big bad or whatever? And he just got and, like some cakes the night before, and like Broly's like just just sucking and, Hell and yeah. Goku and Vegeta like yo nigga like what the fuck? <laughs> you know Goku ain't fucking. And then like somebody like destroys the sensu beans and like they can't exactly. get it to him in time or something. Sensu beans, yeah, the yeah. Tensu beans. <laughs> <laughs> you know for a fact Goku ain't fucking. That's why he's always strong. Vegeta knows better, so he knows not to. Like a whole week before a fight, Gohan keep fucking why well, he can't get stronger. Wow. <laughs> Think about this. Shit. Is that how the universe works? He's not so, wrong. Yeah, take yeah look at Yamcha. Yes. Wow. He was he, a whole hoe. Yeah, he's a hoe. That's uh-huh. why he never got stronger. And that's why Krillin got weaker. Krillin getting regular cakes. So, like, wow. now he can't fight no more. That's how Krillin lost his hair. Damn. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and then he got it back. Then he got well, that's how he part. got his hair back. Well, he got his hair back. Yeah. Because yeah. he, he used to, oh. it was like One Punch Man. He trained so hard, his hair fell out. And he stopped training and yep. he started getting ass. Yep. And he, his hair grew back. No, oh, he shaved that shit continuously. <laughs> True. He was a monk. <laughs> he said as a kid, he just shaved it. You just couldn't let me have that joke. <laughs> no, man. As a, he was like, as a Dragon Ball fanatic. According to canon. Uh, <laughs> push his glasses. Before Roshi. <laughs> Goku. <laughs> well, he didn't hit a destructive disc since. <laughs> yeah. I mean, not on an enemy. <laughs> What would a destructo disc sex move be? With an Android, who knows? Mm. A screwdriver. There's probably something on Pornhub you can find. Messy. That's pretty I'm pretty sure that's some like Dom shit. Like, mm. like he he what's it called? Look, I don't know. I'm I'm not not You not mind the kink, kink world? I'm not. Uh I'm sorry. But it's okay. Well, what's it called when when they like to be beat up and, and humiliated and shit? Like I'm pretty sure that's that's their situation. That's called abuse. I mean, but I in the kink that, world it's stop. not stop. But get I get some help. I think that uh <laughs> Krillin's the one getting beat up, though. That's that's, that's yeah. my point. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he's not beating up eighteen. <laughs> I mean, he's trying to beat it. I mean, but like not yeah, in that sense. Tool. Like, like a whole, a yeah, whole okay. ride of crop. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't jump up. Okay. Mm. Okay. Well, this, uh, speaking of BDSM, <laughs> um, Sailor Moon Eternals trailer dropped and will come out June third on Netflix. On Netflix, cool. That that's a whole. I feel like we watched Sailor Moon Eternal and what like that was like two thousand. 13, 12, 13. Like, oh, this is, is a new season. <laughs> no, it's a, it's, it's a, a new it's movie. A movie for is it, it new? Yeah. Oh, yeah. the movie for oh, the, the season. movie's yeah. new then. But yes. the season came out. Oh, I don't know anything like, about Sailor Moon. I'm be honest. At so. least seven years ago. Did you know that like, Sailor Moon solos everybody's verse. Excuse me, what? Yeah. We're not we're not doing this. Oh, it's not an actual. I'm interested. In what I'm, I don't like. I'm well, trying to understand it's, it's, it. It's a meme that like you know the whole better than Goku thing. Well, yeah. that that evolved into well Sailor Moon can beat Goku, mm-hmm. so therefore Sailor oh. Moon is the most powerful anime character. Mm-hmm. Non tuxedo mask is because mm. he controls her. Well, we got a dark path today. <laughs> <laughs> Just a lot of. <laughs> well, since we're here, what do you think their sex life is like? <laughs> She barks when she's told. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you see how she responds when Tuxedo Mask was around? 
And he didn't do shit. He gave her one of those like remote control janks, huh? Facts. <laughs> Yo, they're teenagers. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> Well, I mean, they had a kid in the future, right? Is that like the oh yeah, we're talking about future then. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You're on the moon. Yeah, and shit. I, was, I was talking mm-hmm. about like yeah. two thousand year old Sailor Moon. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. goddess level Sailor Moon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. So yeah. Had to specify that because <laughs> she's eternal. Yeah. yeah. Well, my job here is done. So yeah, Made in Abyss. <laughs> uh, what is that? I'm made fucking in a... shocked. That's oh, getting a video I'm game, so not happy. to steal your thunder. <laughs> right. Yeah. So Made in Abyss is, is getting a second season, and it's getting an action oh, RPG, and it's going to be eighteen and up. It's, yeah. it's rated Here's M, which is what not is shocking. Made in Abyss? Oh, okay. So uh, let me explain it to you. It. it mm. Let me break it down. On the, the, on the, so, on don't the spoil it though. It, don't I'm spoil not, it. I'm not. Yeah. I don't. I'm not because I want them to watch it. I bought yeah. it. It's. It was whatever. Wherever I moved oh, I those DVDs it. to. Okay. It's in the abyss now. Had to move it to clear off the table, but. Uh, Instant tears. Um, like when you look at the, the package, it's like, oh, what's this happy shit? But it and it takes it you for a fucking. Monica? It gets dark as shit. I think darker, to be honest, darker like, than Monica. Yeah, I I can't tell you which one, but it it's it goes there. Like like I, <laughs> and you know what? It's it's not even the first episode. It's probably like episode. It, yeah, no, it, yeah. it gets you. Like it takes you. It's it's a, a while bit. to get to it. So you're still happy go lucky. Oh, this is pretty interesting. Like it's really yeah. good because it's different than anything else. Like is almost it bleak anything else. Like Monica. It takes like honestly, look, us let, even saying what we're saying is kind of spoiling. Yeah. So because oh, wow. I went into it naive. Yeah. You just think, okay, this is a cool world. It's yeah. an interesting story. It's it's mysterious. And I want to see. Lights get turned off. Yeah, I want to mm. see what you know what what's down in the hole because the abyss is a giant hole in the earth, and their society is like built around it. Uh, but the the thing is, the further you go down, you get the curse of the abyss. Mm-hmm. So coming back up gets harder. So you go down to like level one or whatever. When you come back up, you get a headache. But eventually, like the further in, like the worst things happen to you, and you can see where the story goes from there. Hmm. So you know, there and you follow children. It's a girl who. Uh, I forgot what they call him. She's one of the excavators or whatever. Or like she's training to be one. Then she finds a robot boy from from the abyss. And then they go back down in there because, uh, for reasons, they said they, they try yeah. to go down to the bottom. And like, it is not an easy journey. And that shit fucks you up. Like, I got trauma. I grown ass watching it. Like, huh. Hmm. Yeah, traumatized. I, yeah. Yeah, so add that one to the list. So that came out in 2017. There's a manga, but the anime came out in 2017, and there hasn't been shit since. So uh, they they came out with a sequel movie that came out in Japan because of Corona still ain't over here yet. But they finally announced season two is coming, and it's like okay, cool. So eventually we should get the movie and then the season. It's not gonna come out in theaters. <laughs> Probably. I, I don't I don't probably see it. not. But probably not. It might be direct to Funimation or direct to Crunchyroll. Because it's not like just a side story. It's a story. It's part it's, of the plot. It's like the Demon mm. Slayer movie. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. Looking forward but to that. Speaking of 2017 anime that uh need a second season, I hope they come out with the Land of the Lustrous one, because I just got through that. That was pretty dope. Uh shout out Land of the Lustrous. Keep it moving. <laughs> Said no one, but uh no point. <laughs> 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 just kidding. Uh fucking weeb. Nintendo is also looking to do more with the Mario franchise and their properties in the animated space, said their president, as they started working with a Luma Magic, a Luma Works or something. Hmm. They're doing a Illumination? Movie, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That. Minion people? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah they they, they just hired the CEO to be like a director for Nintendo. People are hyped. They okay. think the Gru is going to be in Smash Brothers now. Get the fuck out. I know. It's bad enough we got that dumbass bear. Put him in it. <laughs> Don't you slander your banjo. Did you say Gru? Yeah. Like the minions? Yes. I, yeah. Does he get to throw minions? I don't Shut know. That might be. We got just, Pikmin. We don't need nothing else. Just, We're good. Oh, he can be. He, he can has be death Pikmin lasers with minions. And, and minions. Y'all could all fuck And off. then when you get hurt or when you throw him off the like level, he goes, oh, girls. <laughs> you have like a ray gun and stuff. That'd be so dope. I hate He looks so disgusted. So yeah, Gru coming to Smash. Uh, just wait on that. Oh. Fuck you, Banjo. <laughs> Prince Petty, do you have a problem with me and the girls? <laughs> <laughs> so Paula Magic Madoka is also getting some love. They get a continuation movie called Turning the Tide of Walpurgis. Walpurgis knocked! That's the that's <laughs> the, the, the big big bad that... Did we fight him at the end? It's been a minute. I'm sorry. I haven't watched she, that shit in a hot minute. So Monica... No, was kind of beating his ass, but she had to sacrifice herself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like 
Her and uh, Hamura. Yeah. Hamura. Yeah. yeah. Hamura. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Hamura. Hamura. <laughs> <laughs> With the power of Hamon. <laughs> oh, God dang it. Caesar! <laughs> but I want to know what the continuation could possibly be because Monica's she, already she turned a goddess. She turned into a god at the end, yeah. And Homura is alive, but that's it. I mean, yeah. Well, we, we, we She's got a goddess, the, so she can probably just come back. We got the, like, the continuation because when they did the three movies, the first two recompiled the series. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then the third one was new material. I can't remember what the fuck happened. <laughs> what was that side shit? Was that just like that was, OVA? That was, that was based off a video game. Gotcha. Universe, okay. Yeah, ultimate yeah. story. But same like premise and shit. Did you watch mm-hmm. that? You bought the figures and shit for it. E- yes. It's alternative yeah. universe. Mm-hmm. So there's like characters in it from this main show, but it's not the same. Ah. Yeah. Okay. That's kind of a spoiler. But was it worth buying the stuff for it? I mean, yeah. I, the show wasn't great, but it was, it was good. You said the show wasn't great? No. Or are you talking about alternative or the original? He's talking about alternative. The, the side oh, story. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Damn, I was about to... It's like how people story. don't like um, Gun Gale uh, from Sword yeah. Art. Yeah. yeah, like if I gave like Puella uh, a 10, this is like the side story is like a 7. They yeah. can, I mean, yeah. I mean, I guess they can do what they want, but how are you hating on Gun Gale when you got a whole ass... Like, I'll never forgive Sword Art for their second seasons. Like the first season... Dope. Fire. Not second seasons, but second half of the season. Oh, yeah. Where they and they did, did it, oh. they did the shit twice. Yeah. Yeah. So Sword Art... Dope. Second half of Sword Heart was weak. Why? Yeah. And then they did it again with season two. First half dope. Hot. Second, second half. half yeah. Why? And they went yeah. like yeah. back OVA. to the same fucking place again. Yep. Well, no, I think Alitization is actually decent. Right? I haven't, like I haven't, it hasn't. I haven't, I haven't, from I, what I've seen, like I saw part like season I heard like, whatever good. it is, part one, whatever. The and first I was like, season Yo. was dope. So, yeah, so they so. didn't do. The, they they finally learned it, during the one game. There was no third times the, the charm. No, where this, the one this game. shit's different. Okay, it's good. almost like a damn. It's still on my list. I'm mecha thing. I'm looking forward yeah. to it. Yeah. I mean, kind of yeah. like I, I low key like fate. Yeah, that's the world. It's yeah. almost like a fate, fate thing. If you it take out that whole second half of season one and season two, like the the fairy shit. Yeah, it's always I think I think Sword Art would be much higher on my on my like. Ranking because yeah. that just took it's not me even out on my of it. top twenty five or top fifty. But like, I think it definitely earned the, its place in like the pantheon. Yeah, even mm-hmm. with I mean, just the first the season, first alone. season alone. Yeah, but then like, after five. that, I don't care about shit. Yeah, like, it kind of fell off. Even yeah. season but, two was weak to me. Like the whole thing, like him being a detective and shit. Like I was like, I'm not into this. That's when season two was when he was the the girl character in Gun Gale, right? He was a girl. I think so. Damn, yeah. or at I, least I missed that part. Yeah. I knew he had like emo hair, but I thought it was still a dude. Maybe What's I missed name? it. I forget his name. Kitty Toe. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because he was doing the du- he was dual wielding a gun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, no, because he yeah. found a way to still have a damn like he sword had like lightsaber. Too. Yeah, yeah. He, oh, but he had he had the two guns. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. he bought it really early though. Yeah, with okay. credits. Okay, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it was weird. Yeah, it was like somebody's assassinating players and shit. Yeah, but, <laughs> whatever. I thought it was kind of neat, but then they went right back to fucking fairyland. They did. That yeah. was stupid. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, enough about this uh, uh, this show because uh, uh. dumb. Whose favorite show is that? Is that yours or a mods? It's it's not a mods and it's not mine, but I do like it. It's yours. <laughs> it was, I, I don't remember know why you couldn't remember who it. it was. It was you. <laughs> I do like and watch it. Mm-hmm. It's just not. There's my something favorite. wrong with that. Yeah, I like it. Mm-hmm. I just it's not my favorite. They they do too much wrong for it to be a favorite. And honestly, See, the I end of that. Gun Gale is not bad. The like the last like five episodes. Gun Gale's was forgivable when you, when you and say good Gun Gale, because are you talking about season two or the, the Gun no Gale actual, Gun, actual Gale. Gun Gale. It was like it was a side story. Is it? Like, I like it's Gun in, Gale. It's yeah, in it has like the two. character, but like yeah. it's following her and not necessarily the, yeah, the main it's not, story. It's, it's in the same realm, but it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah and that's good because like it's not the main story, so mm-hmm. they don't have that weird cutaway thing. Yeah, but yeah. So Yasuke, Yusuke, y- yeah, no, no. <laughs> That that uh that show. So, did you watch full it? disclaimer? I have not seen it yet, but I'm okay with what's about to go down. Are you sure? These are spoilers, right? So yeah, we should so warn the people that have ahead. not seen it. So <laughs> for those for the listeners out there, uh, after Tiffsilla stops dying, um, <laughs> he's still dying. Just go, chuck the water now so we can cut this part. Give him a tinsu beam. <laughs> you a need rook- a tinsu. <laughs> Recover one cough. <laughs> Sorry about that. The, the okay. podcast is the most talking I do in life. Oh, I <laughs> thought it was the subject matter that made you cough. Ooh, I mean that too. Oh, Yasuke. Mm-hmm. <coughs> yep, mm. that's what it is. Anyway, All right, keep moving. Who, wants, who wants to start? You, why don't you, well, start you, you got it, about you got it, it. So y'all, yeah, Mauricio, you start. Okay. Me? Well, yeah. 
Oof. All right. Let's you, do, no, let's no, do no, reactions. No. First off, do Ooh. reactions. Don't do this. Oh, no. Ooh. I ain't gonna read it. Yeah. yeah. You guys all watched it, right? You guys have finished it? Uh, you yeah, guys have like... It. You finish it? How many episodes is it? Six? Six. Okay. I think I slept during the sixth one, but yeah. Shh, the last episode? Yeah. Nothing happens? Something know. happens, but it, eh. I mean... All right. I'm going to tell you why. Here's the problem. <laughs> give me pros and cons. Yes, it's please. Is it because yes. there's too much in it? Like robots? No, and not even that. Do start with pros. You know. So pros. Okay. Yeah. We'll I've known about Yasuke for years because mm-hmm. I like to read. Mm-hmm. Some niggas don't read, but I like to read. I've known about Yasuke for a very long time. Um, I'm also a Nobunaga fan. Uh, that's a wild ass nigga. Lives a great um, life. Yeah, like every iteration of, of Nobunaga shows how crazy he is, and I fucks with it. That's why he was okay with a black man being a samurai. Mm-hmm. Um. That's cool. You know what would have been even cooler? If that was the story. Mm. If that wasn't the story, follow some little girl. Also, how how you make a story about feudal Japan, everybody look white. Everybody. Wait, wait, wait. I thought we were doing the pros. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. Damn. See? Okay, I'm going to go back to my pros. Yeah, that went straight to yeah, me. Like, so, <laughs> I'm going to jump around for a second. We'll come All back the samurai is black. That's so, a pro. Mauricio so, has a lot to say. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so. Animation. Was okay. that a pro or a con? I didn't hate the animation. Okay. It was better than I thought it would be. So if you had to rate it, what would you? Like, um, ten. Cause I know it was Mappa. I'm gonna give it like for them. No, nah, no, nah, don't don't give them extra credit. Just no, I'm not. Like, okay. Trust me, you'll see. Okay, okay. Because it's Mappa, they're getting like a six. Okay, done that's better. how I feel. Mm-hmm. Okay, they okay, could have done okay. a lot better okay. if about, I didn't know it was Mappa. I'm glad because we haven't. I, me and Brock talked about it before mm-hmm. you got here. We haven't talked about it. So you're yeah. actually bringing up stuff that we caught to okay oh yeah, yeah. no because i know what's mappa and because i know what they can do they're getting a the six because yeah. it could have been better also how you asian drawing asian people and make them look white that was See, that's what about what, that's uh, what pacing I, pacing because of what they did was not terrible we can give pacing good i mean i don't yeah the pacing pacing was wasn't bad wasn't yeah for good. what it was yeah but yeah. it wasn't about Yasuke. But it was it was a six it was six episodes so they yeah six episodes not about Yasuke. <laughs> Like, <laughs> I love how you keep saying that because you're right. Yo, it's like, like, funnier it, well, it's, every time you say it's it. It's not the you're, you're right. It's the you're not wrong. <laughs> so Yasuke's in it. He's in every episode. Stop putting your head different. <laughs> 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 A week. The sunlight coming in. Blinded by the light. I I need to know why. I need to know why we needed to have mechs. I'm gonna let the wear bear go. You let the wear bear slide, but not the max. I'm, I'm gonna let the wear bear slide because is there Digimon in this. Wear bear scare. Yes. Yo, they I'm got Digimons. Let, oh god. But the, uh, hey, melting. I'm gonna let the wear bear go because wear bear stare. There was other magic, and it's like okay, these are still like this is still post or you know pre modern times civilizations. You know from Japan, Russia. I think the other dude was British or some shit. I don't fucking know. Hmm. Portuguese in there. I'll let the magic stuff go. Where the fuck you get mechs from? Where you got mechs? Well, I, Mongolia dropped. Oh yeah, shout out the Ghost of Tsushima. They dropped, they they mentioned that in the in the in the show. Yeah, did they um, really? They mentioned the island and how the oh. Mongolians took over. Oh okay. So that's straight that's from the neat. game. Yeah, it's because he just played the game last year before he made the show. But it's fine because I like the game. <laughs> yeah, the game's um, good. But he said the mechs came from the Mongolians. Where the fuck did they get mechs from? Not Jin. Right? Like, don't give me a real historical date. Then give me mechs. Just don't give me a date. That's you know, some real that, weird creative that is fair. Freedom. That is that is fair. Like it's don't don't make it it's, super it's historical world, world and then throw random what shit. What world yeah. though? Their exactly. world. All right. Look, I love alternative the history. The mind of LaShawn okay. Thomas, sorry. I love alternative history and I love like fictional fantastical takes on it. But don't give me an actual real year when shit really happened, when like when Nobunaga really fucking died, and then show me mechs. Hmm. Like, what? Because the dates are irrelevant at that point. Yeah. Though. At yeah, that point, it doesn't matter what year it was. You could have said it was year 1000. <laughs> yeah. Cyberpunk. Yeah. 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 You could do cyberpunk rules. Yeah. Yeah. It's I year mean, 3005. I mean, historical fiction is a thing where they alternate history. But I, I think I'm not a fan of the mechs either. I'm just saying. Yeah. So I'm not, I don't want to drag them too long give everybody their chance. But my problem with the mechs is that if you put mechs in it in a story about samurai. Samurai. Or, well, you know, Samurai Jack had mechs. Yeah, but he also wasn't like regular powered. I mean, neither was Yasuke, but he didn't have actual powers. He was just a monster at the sword. And I will caveat I'll, that if they did the Afro Samurai route in any way or shape or fashion, I would have loved it. Yeah. So so the Samurai yeah. wasn't black. <laughs> I mean, he had hands for like one episode. That's the other thing. There's six episodes. So what do you do the other five? 
I, I do like if you're gonna have alternate history, right? Like a fictional take on history. I think the line is that Samurai Jack never existed, but Yasuke did. Yeah, so you got human you Yasuke against like like mm. two hundred mm. foot mechs. Also, why would this dude that was like this beast of a fighter just like become a boatman? He can't get no that's, cheeks. He ain't got no money. That's how it usually goes. Kenshin in did that movies. shit too. Yeah, wandering yeah. samurai. Yeah, it was a fucking batosa. They're, 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 they're tired of yeah. you know killing war and shit and like, nah, whatever. This, so this, they just want a peaceful this life. Is a freed black man who's like had like the lap of luxury. I mean, and suddenly he just was like I'm gonna be poor. But again. they also he's also in Japan and they also looking at him funny. Yeah, yeah but can't so, nobody beat him? Though. I, but still, I don't think. I mean, that's probably a rough were, life fighting every single person though. I don't think he was getting <laughs> cheeks thrown at him though. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. Like uh, he claps for cheeks. Like the, the only beginning. girl who like really like fucked with him was nine years old. Like no, what the fuck? I don't mean I, I don't mean it literally. He, he doesn't mean that sexually. Yeah. No, he means okay. like I was cool with him. Yeah. Like that is the girl he was Wholesome protecting way. in the movie. Yeah. The uh, okay. the eager clan homegirl in the beginning, he smashed. Yeah. 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 That's why it was so bad. He had to kill her. <laughs> she was like, "Fuck!" Was like, she she the only one, ninja bitch. And she the only really one. So like, he was probably caught up on that. True. Yeah. I mean, there's only six episodes. Is there a time skip or anything like that? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Oh, okay. There's flashbacks. There's flashbacks. Yeah. There's okay. not time skip. I got more, but it's gonna be when y'all trigger my memory. Is there a season two coming? Look. Oh. Okay. Oh, wait. Not yet. Don't do this. Look. <laughs> That's what we're working our way towards. Wait, does Campus have is that interview? Two? Who? Cannabis is Cannabis? supposed to get a season two. It, I don't know it's if it's not going, going to. to. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. I got to do something. In episode two, I said Cannabusters was not anime. After issue of retraction, it is. Sorry. Uh, it was animated by Studio Satellite, which is a Japanese company. My bad. Nice. Continue. But wait, did it actually get greenlit for a second season? I don't know. I it was just them. in the talks. I don't know if it's actually like. Oh, like Are you talking about Yasuke or Cannabusters? Cannabusters. I don't give a shit. Oh, <laughs> my other pros. <laughs> so my other pros, before I forget, I watched English and Japanese. Keith surprised me. I, I mean, I fucked with Keith anyway. Yeah, yeah. He, like, it, it wasn't as bad as it, yeah. as we felt. In I, the, I just didn't want to sound like we were in Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> and it did sometimes. That's his voice. Well, the trailer definitely didn't help. Yeah. No. Well, and it wasn't amazing. We're, I mean, Don't, let's yeah. be real. Like, like, it, it was like a, a 10. 7. That's That's not bad. Bad. It didn't Oscar. take you out of it. Yeah. Is the sub better, in yes. your opinion? Okay. Yes. Gotcha. So, yes. I forgot his name now. And but he's June, also a black, black guy, yeah. yeah. Gentleman, Which yeah. is cool. June somebody. I, I the forgot Blackenese the last name. man. That's dope, though. That they he actually like. He crushed it. Yeah. He looks like a Yasuke. Yeah. 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 Nice. And he crushed it. Like, he needs more work. This is his first yeah. voice acting gig. It was his first. Really? Yeah. yeah. First yeah. voice acting gig. Fucking monster. I'm sorry it was on that one. <laughs> From the way y'all are talking. <laughs> well, honestly, he made it bearable. When I, I mean, Cannon Buster season two will be a thing, so, you know. Oh, yeah, you know. The problem work. is that yep, right. he did a great job, and then Nobunaga is the same guy in English and Japanese. Mm-hmm. But then some of the people were way better in English, which I can't believe I'm fucking saying this shit. Like the White Wizard dude, better in English. It was kind of weird in Japanese. Mm. Like there were some people that were just better to hear them in English. Interesting. Also, See? it was weird as shit when they That's said... That's what I've been saying. That black man speaking Japanese, but they were still already speaking Japanese. And I was like, what? I am a that dub was advocate. one of my gripes. <laughs> I was weak. Oh, go ahead. I was just saying I'm a dub advocate. That's what I've been saying. When I you, like anyway, dub and sub. When you compare the two, it's not, it's not this like grand uh, ass whooping that the sub folks make it seem. No, saying. it's... it's, it's, it's we're got its props. We're like not you, in 1988 anymore. Yeah. Where that, I mean, that shit was horrible in 88. I'm not, I'm not arguing that. I'm arguing now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> now I was trying we, to think of stuff that I liked. Like, it was almost like it's not a lot. Now that we established that sub is the best, uh, we uh, I like both. What uh, also and I like where you sub read supremacy manga? is ableism. I just wanted to throw that out there. Well, yeah, you gotta be able to read it. So, yeah. <laughs> god damn. <laughs> And you know what? I didn't even ask you guys when we went to go see um, the Demon Slayer movie whether it was going to be sub or dub. I knew it was sub because Maurice picked the time. I didn't know. I don't know if there's dub time. There is. There There was dub time. Yeah. So I I knew. He only listed the sub time. You know why? But the dub's not bad. I like the dub. It's not, but it's But you know why? Why? Because we were in like the Haywa period of Japan and I was all these niggas Japanese. This nigga. I need to hear it in Japanese. What is wrong with you? You're hilarious. I, I knew I knew that shit because he, he gave us the times and I was like that's not enough times when I looked there was w- twice as many times could you imagine so he only gave dang, us dang I subs. wonder what he sounded like in dub now could I need to go imagine? back and like try to find the dub could you imagine of, I mean the uh, dub's on Netflix Slayer. imagine no, Demon Slayer the character oh yeah he is in he's that. in the he's show a, yeah, right. yeah. he's got like two lines though 
Yeah. Imagine a Demon Slayer crows in English. I mean, right? he's in it though. Yeah, yeah. you're right. I mean, it'll, it'll take same. two seconds to find it. I'll yeah. give you that. I do enjoy the Demon Slayer crow in Japanese. Tanjiro. Yeah, yeah. you know yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't or, even remember what he sounds like in the dub. Tanjiro. Oh, oh it's the oh, same. A, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I just spot on. <laughs> just that, just, that crow. Yeah. That crow has the same in both. That's Shit. crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. It's they the same voice actor in English and Japanese. Hire that damn crow. But so what I didn't like is how, to your point, they were like. Oh, we're speaking in ja- you're speaking in Japanese, and it's like, well, what are we speaking in, sir? If he's right. speaking Japanese, <laughs> and you can understand he's speaking Japanese, what are y'all speaking in in this That's scene? A big old plot hole. Like, jeez, yeah, like, yeah, it, it works in English. <laughs> Because yeah. in, in in the in the dub, he switches to Japanese. Oh, wow, that's cool. But then also, it's it's dub, so like, right. you're it still makes... supposed to be speaking Japanese. Yeah. Exactly. You're right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, they're Man. still in Japan. <laughs> so both ways it don't work. There was another anime that did that recently too, where it was like they were going between English and Japanese. Oh, it was Great Pretender? I don't think so. Maybe they did do it in Great Pretender. But they actually did it, did it well. I'm just trying yeah. to remember. It was just well, like from it, this point on, it's going to be in English. Yeah. Isn't yeah. it the, the, the witch doctor? The witch doctor nigga that says it though. Yeah. Which makes it even worse. <laughs> Are you African too? <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> Just because you in Japan don't mean I can't speak Japanese, nigga. That's how I felt. Anyway. Yeah, so those were the positives. Uh, <laughs> I, I've i seen much worse anime. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said but, it was better than Cannon Busters, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But my, th- it, my point is it didn't live up to the hype that we gave it, which we called. Yep. Because. We be real. We just didn't have the faith in Lashawn Thomas, and let's nah. just get into it now. We read an interview with him. Well, wait before oh, we oh. get there. I'm gonna say anybody who's hyping it up for it, for hyping it up for what it's not right now is I would look at him sideways because like I don't like that. Yeah, like I like to support and all, but like don't make it seem like it's something. It's yeah, not. like what we said b- before. I mean, I guess it was episode two. Uh, was by all means. You know, give him a chance. Right. Watch. Uh, promote it. I was hyped because it was Mappa. But tell him, yeah. you know, yeah. tell him the truth. Like, hey, your writing needs to be better. Yeah. Like, it, it, we just can't blindly support. That's not, that's doing a disservice. Right. Well, I guess, okay, let, not not coming from the, the casual anime watcher, like someone that's just going to watch it. Okay, if they're casual, they might fuck with it. Yeah, that's what I was like. I'm just like wondering what the casual viewer might be like. All right, is this like it'll be like oh that was but cool, it's also but it's like not a about bad the representation though. I mean, Cause like it's still exposure. Yeah, they might watch. They might like it enough to watch more. I, shit. I mean, so but, is that like Netflix? Netflix's bag. Like we're just gonna throw a random shit anime in there, and then hopefully people watch it. Yeah, I, <laughs> they do it with the live actions. Dude. I don't think that. Uh, I don't think that it was. This is gonna sound crazy, but you know what? You know what I'm talking about. I don't think it was anime enough to make you watch anime as a new anime watcher. Really? I yeah. Aren't like there Digimon American in story. it? There's anime tropes, but it doesn't feel like an anime as far as like... Do you remember when you first saw anime and it was super fucking foreign to you? You were like, what is this? Like, it was nothing like your cartoons on Saturday morning. Oh. I grew up overseas, man. Oh, that's true. That's not fair. Oh, yeah, we, have, we have a bad yeah, group. We have a bad group I kind of get it. Yeah, we all foreign. <laughs> it, it, didn't, it didn't feel... <laughs> imports. Even yeah. though we were in Japan... <laughs> And all that and samurai shit, like it didn't feel like an anime. It felt like, yeah. uh, it felt like, oh shit, you about to hate this? <laughs> the X Men anime or the Marvel anime? Yeah, it felt like that. that where sucks. even though it was an anime, it didn't feel Something like an anime. Off. Yeah, something like the, was uh, off. The fucking what's that supernatural shit when they did that? Bro, yes. except mm. except that those actually still had good anime character designs. These character designs looked like you know. American, like uh, they were trying, like it was reversal. Yeah, like remember, Avatar shit. Remember yeah. you go to Barnes and Noble and had that but, book, How to Draw a Manga. So, Ooh, so back to yeah. I have that book. Damn, Mappa. Yeah. So, <laughs> but, but here's that the thing: bad, like Mappa, when you think about it, someone comes up with a character design, and then the animators follow that design. Yeah. So, Lakeith, no, not Lakeith. I'm sorry, Lashawn, no, okay. oh. or who's the, other, the 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 writer, Nick Jones Jr. or somebody, whoever uh, came up with the character, character design was clearly not. The usual, <laughs> not somebody from Mappa. Damn you, Jonas! But Mappa just followed it. <laughs> and they did make a, make a point to say that like, I think like one of the Dororo guys was also helping with the character design, Ooh. which that's not uh, the great. Like I, the story for that is great, but like the 
I didn't yeah. think, that but that's one of those things that's bad. like ugly on purpose. Yeah, like, he didn't right. look bad, yeah. but I you just could, think everybody else looked. But bad. you could tell, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. See, here's the thing: like, things you, didn't make we sense. knew that that's a black dude, and he wasn't going to look like the Japanese people, right? So we accepted that. But then everybody else, like to me, they all looked like white people, and I was yeah. like, I couldn't tell who was white and who was Japanese. And the only time I knew there were white people in it. Showed the actual white. There people. was a couple. Yeah, mm. they didn't just look like fucking Russians. <laughs> Bandit Keith from yeah. <laughs> They weren't American. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. yeah. The only time I knew they you, you knew they weren't white people is when you saw the actual white people. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. It was it was weird. Because like, it would be like this dude. Even hair color and shit. I'll watch it tonight. They want nobody dying their hair light brown in Japan in fifteen eighty. I mean wow. they had Mecca's shit. Okay. Yeah, you know what? They were using their mystical powers Look, to dye their the hair. Family Martin lost because Ul- they got that hair. Alternate dye. history. <laughs> historical fiction on that. <laughs> like, I will give him this much credit because now that I think about what I was saying that it didn't feel like anime it would have felt more like anime probably if he had focused more on the actual story and if he copied Trigun uh, Samurai Champloo and yeah. Cowboy Bebop and the problem is with that is that he couldn't I don't think he could have made it an original thing to you know if he had followed the real story too much um, also he may not have felt like he knew enough about like the story in Samurai era Japan to do a story like that. So maybe that's why he's so, thinking about somebody else. I said it before that this would have been probably better if we got the Chadwick Boseman live action so we could see the actual historical yeah. telling mm-hmm. and then the, the fantastical. fantastical version. Yeah. Hey. And hey. and I got a problem with history because it keeps changing, by the way. If you read enough. Oh, no. no. <coughs> Still choking up oh, over this God. anime. Watch this we start it's a tough. It's a tough topic. So I don't have any like. Obviously, like you guys are listening. This is audio, so I can't show you my slides. But you got a years, PowerPoint? Yes. Over the years, no, not Yasuke's story has changed. He was a slave, and then one time he was just like an indentured servant, and one time he was just there of his own free will. He traveled to Portuguese for fun. Nobody can tell me which one's the truth, but of course, because he's black and he's African, you have to just accept that he was a slave. But for that nigga to buck like that in the beginning. He won't scared of getting whipped, clearly. True. So was he a slave? I don't know. I you know, know, that would have been a cool story, actually, if yeah. they would have just like spun it as like a he's a free black man yeah. and he can do whatever he wants. And it literally would have been like an adventure esque thing. He he beat he beat that samurai up and then was turn around to the white man, like beat my ass. Try. Fuck me up. And nobody tried him. So mm. I'm thinking maybe LaShawn Thomas knew that too and was like, he wasn't an actual slave. He wouldn't have never done that if he was an actual slave. Yeah. But he did something. He was a slave in the thing? He's a servant because it's from Netflix. Awesome. Yeah. Um, but even in the real history, if you think about it, what did he do for Nobunaga to be like, oh, let me get that nigga in my, in my staff? Like, he had to do something. Oh, they don't show that couldn't. in the anime? They do. No, they do. Oh. But I'm saying oh. in real life, he had to have done something where Nobunaga and that's one was of the like, good yo, scenes. let me get this dude with mm. me. Is that the one where he had hands that episode? Oh, yeah. yeah. Serious hands. That's Fighting a really, I, I, even though it's somewhat cringy, if you think about it, I like that scene a lot. Me too. It was one of the best scenes. Okay. I'm watching it later. So. But yeah, yeah. Without I, detail. Yeah. I just, I think that he in real life had to have done something. Nobunaga to be like, oh, this dude, wild. Wow. Let me get him on my staff. He had to do something. He was just a regular slave, like in chains or like standing behind his white man. He wouldn't have picked him up like that, but he picked mm. him up for some reason. So mm. what did he, what did real Yasuke do? Did he beat somebody ass? I don't know. Was he that impressive in stature? I don't know. Did he already speak Japanese? Maybe. For some reason, Oda Nobunaga was like, I fucked with this dude. So that's why I wanted to make the history right. The Maybe. Oda Nobunaga. The Oda. Yeah. yeah. Mm. The cancer, by the way, June 23rd. 15 wow. some shit. 15, like 60 something. Should have got this man to do the show. Now I'm just picturing Mauricio sitting in an empty room with the tatami mats and drinking green tea. <laughs> yes. And looking with at his a, sword. a wall scroll of Oda Nobunaga and a sword. <laughs> when was he born? And he's, like, <laughs> and he's like, I live my life to please you. <laughs> someone's like his shrine like, someone's like playing like a pan flute in the back like yes. <laughs> real talk like I actually this has inspired me to try I'm gonna fail but it inspired me to try to write my own uh, story for Yasuke go for it cause like we support you yeah. I feel like this shit would be better no Mauricio the Yasuke Thomas, podcast I just feel like it'll be better I don't know speaking of that man so <laughs> yeah read this read this he, he did an interview I can't remember with whom at this time, one well, us, but he did an interview and he had some very interesting uh excerpts that we're gonna, we're gonna uh, talk about. It's so uh, it's so cringy, yeah. Uh, excerpt one 
He said, naturally, you know, Hollywood has conditioned us to not accept the fantastical, not accept the fantastical before truth. We have always have to get a biopic before we get an adventure. I've mentioned this before, but if you've gotten a Lincoln by Daniel Day-Lewis, you have to get a Lincoln by Daniel Day-Lewis before you get Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. You can't drop Vampire Hunter Abraham Lincoln first. You know what I mean? Ha 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 ha. What? This is this is the Sean Thomas uh, director. What? <laughs> he said you can, but Hollywood and American history have conditioned us Look, so that you have to find the truth before you find the fantastical he's element. Right. He's right. I get what he's saying, but the fact that he chose to say this in defense of his anime. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I didn't do the, the truth because it we don't have to. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, okay, but okay, well, miss opportunity. This, this is actually part, like the the least uh, <laughs> problematic thing. I'm gonna read this second line because then it explains why we had mechs from Mongolia. Oh goodness! I think Yasuke's story, in and of itself, is fantastical because there's so little truth out there on him. It's mostly just popular theories that people consider fact. It is a fact. In this anime, there are Mongolian mechs. <laughs> <laughs> And we're bears. And we're bears from Russia. Although I'll accept that one. Yeah. Russia Wild. Honestly, the I, that group of people was like a bunch of Scooby Doo villains. They <laughs> <laughs> really were. Jesus. <laughs> also, yeah, hold on. Before we continue. How did they get together? My man was on a right. boat with nothing but a harpoon, a trident harpoon. He beat the shit out of a mech that I think was American made, by the way, which is weird. America didn't exist yet. Anyway. Also, America would be the one with the mech anyway, so. Right? That me- it was weird. That mech was weird. Um, a Russian werebear lady. Maybe they were American mechs and, uh, by way of Mongolia. Maybe. <laughs> oh, sorry. And a uh, a witch doctor from Benin. That does sound like a Scooby Doo. How <laughs> all these motherfuckers got? And they would have got away with it if it wasn't for the black man. Yeah. My man That's rare to say boat. though. True. True. You say that out loud three times. Yeah. My know. man, you've been <laughs> in a real <laughs> fight in like <laughs> two full years and beat three niggas with powers asses. Fucked him up. No, four. I forgot about the uh the chick with the um with the sickle. She got sickle yeah. cell? <laughs> oh. She had a sickle sword kind of oh. thing. Oh. Nah, she, she was cutting she, grass. She wasn't a black one. No, nah, she was something. Crops. Was she, supposed to be? she was Japanese. She was Japanese? Yeah, she, she was, was the Jap- only Japanese one. Yeah. Working that's with the white man. See that shit? Good. <laughs> Working with the, the crazy Pope dude. <laughs> There was a crazy pope, what by his, the way. What was his angle again? He was trying to take over the church? He was trying to, yeah, use the homegirl's powers to take over the Vatican. Sounds okay. like Castlevania. He was like, yes. um, if you think about it, he was like the uh, first there's villain a lot going in on. Full Metal. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. With yeah. the uh, fucking stone. Yeah. yeah. He was like the first yes, villain. actually. Yeah. That's, that was his role. Honestly, I liked his. Using I liked other people. His, I liked him better than the actual villain. Yeah, me too. But yeah. Yeah. going back to... Uh, the trial of LaShawn Thomas. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. So the the next uh, uh, the next stuff, he said. I hope that people experience Yasuke as their first anime. Oh, I'm not really into anime because the fandom is too hardcore this and nigga. elitist, and I'm and very mean and unforgiving. I don't want to deal with it. Uh, but I really love the Keith in the photograph. Who watched what? the photograph, bro? I did. Uh, I mean, I did too. I watched it's, it in theaters. It's but it was not good. good. But, <laughs> Wait, he said that. No, I think he that was him saying what people uh, were yeah, saying. He, what, what yeah, people that's, would that's, say. that's his but perspective don't, of don't, people. Don't miss the point. He said that he doesn't watch an, how you make anime and not watch anime. I well, mean, I people he, do it with conventions all the time. Well, I th- <laughs> oh, man. God damn. I, the funny thing about that statement is out of all the con runners I know, you could have been any of them. Yeah, any of them. no, they're any all, of them. They're it's all not, the same person. We're not pointing out one. Yeah, they're yeah, all the same person. Literally multiple. Hey, you con runners, the, the ones that I'm cool with, I love you niggas, but y'all motherfuckers are all the same person. <laughs> all the same person. All it's of you. wild. I don't care if you're white, black, whatever. you all the same motherfucker. It's like <laughs> how in World of Warcraft, all the guild leaders were the same person, too. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's legit it's the weird. same with all the showrunners. It's weird. <laughs> Very strange. They're all anyway, the same person. Yeah, anyway... <laughs> So, <laughs> so I'm mad at him for that. Like, uh, and then his logic for not watching anime is because of the anime watchers. My it's a thing, dumb reason. Like, I I understand. Like, the, or I don't understand. I I I know of people saying stuff like, "I don't watch Doctor Who because Whovians are annoying." I mean, okay, you maybe Whovians are annoying, but like, just don't talk to them. Shit. I just think that's a shitty but excuse also, not to also, get involved into something. Also, you're just it watching is. it. Yeah. He's actually creating 
anime. That so too. if you're creating anime, I'd assume you would have watched shit since 2002. Because mm-hmm. clearly he, he watched Trigun, <laughs> Samurai Champloo, and, and, Cowboy and Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> well, I think, I think his statement was saying that's what he thinks people who haven't watched anime would say as they're about to watch Yasuke. They're watching it because of Lakeith Stanfield. That's what it sounded like. It is, but at the same time, like, who people don't watch anime because the reasons that people don't watch anime aren't because of the fandom. I've no, never that's, actually that's, heard I've that never heard that for before. Like the whole anime, anime they say it's whole... not for them. Yeah, yeah. Or they don't watch cartoons. Yeah, that's it. They yeah. don't watch cartoons. So why that's would they more decide common. to watch I got, it now? The only difference I've ever heard, and obviously there's exceptions to every rule, is I got a friend who says that he doesn't want to watch anime because it reminds him of the girls that he missed out on because he could have had them and now they're bad. But they only, but they used to watch anime in like high school. But now, like, oh, like nerd girl glow up so, stuff. Yeah. Damn, why are you calling uh, Maurice out? Yeah. But and I was like, well, that's stupid. Just watch Naruto. <laughs> but whatever. When you gonna watch Naruto? Tomorrow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I guess he was just trying to bang on. It's a black samurai and a black person, and you know this black person. So watch the show. That's, that's so basic. Yeah. yeah. That's very Hollywood of him. All right, what's yeah. the next one? That's live action Netflix energy. I don't think <laughs> Kimetsu no Yaiba or Shingeki no Kyojin is going to do that. You need to be really in the culture to get really into that. I understand that as someone who's on both sides of the fence, not expertly, but enough to be careful with the nuance. There's so many other ways to get people into anime, and this is my way of doing it. At this least nigga he said, said not expert, he, right? He he said <laughs> this nigga said that he did not think. Attack on Titan and Demon Slayer, two of the biggest anime. Demon Slayer is like the, not even of like the year, the decade, just period. Yeah, Demon yeah. Slayer just broke how many rec? Just the movie. Yeah, not even show the movie. Just the movie broke how many rec? And and he had the and this this is a recent interview, like the last yeah. like couple of weeks. He had the audacity to come out of his mouth and say that he yeah. he thinks that that's not going to bring. And Attack on Titan was one of the biggest shows watched in America. Well, he hasn't seen them, guys. That's you right. He clearly don't do <laughs> research. Oh, shit. You're right. You're right. He hasn't watched anything since Samurai Champ. You're right. Oh. Yeah. He hasn't seen them. He doesn't hey, know what this. Shit, he doesn't know what's happening right now. Oh. Crazy. He knows there's a Digimon reboot, bro. <laughs> That's where he's at in his life. He really came out his mouth and said that. Okay. And his defense, he hasn't watched anime. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I keep going back to that. Mauricio, how do you feel about that? I'm going to finish this last line. No, oh, I'm sorry. No, because I just read it and I'm like, wow. I think that's kind of the beautiful thing about anime is that there's a million entry points. It's just about finding the one that works for you. He, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. But like, but why, why end it on point. that? <laughs> <laughs> that is a really weird way to. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. I mean, let's be real. Yeah. Let's be real. <laughs> he got paid. I if mean, you, yeah. Do you, yeah. No, I'm going to start with my own demographic. This the nigga with the shot. Um, God, <laughs> jeez! I'm gonna start with my own demographic here, right? About these million points of entry. It's okay. He don't watch anime. He ain't listen to his podcast. No, I'm gonna talk my shit. So we can safely assume that the mm, I'm gonna say the 25, 25 to like 45, 50 group of black guys, and just most guys in general. But I'm, I'm gonna stick with black because I'm black, and Yasuke is black. Probably started with Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z. Yep. Let's just be real. Yep. At least, in, the fir- at least in their first, you know, three. Yeah, it's an entry point. Yeah. That's your entry point. Like, they, they claim marijuana is a gateway drug, but it's really not. But anyway. Um, <laughs> oh, damn. But it's really Dragon, Dragon Ball. Z, <laughs> Dragon Ball Z was your entry point. And then, if you liked other shit, you kept watching. Or, if you were a normal kid, you just watched the dubs on, on Toonami. You were watching Shampoo and what else was up there? Trigun. Well, oh, Tuna- that show wasn't on Toonami. It was Adult Swim. Adult Swim, yeah. Yeah. It was I mean, Cartoon Network. But wasn't the anime block Toonami? I mean, I know it went away a, and then it came there's back. There's an evening block and there's a yeah. night block. So no, they, did, yeah. they were both Toonami, but they but went away. Kid and Toonami they... was like during the day. And then they yeah, had like that late night are. shit. And then not before they switched it to Adult Swim. It yeah. Like 98, but I think it was both still Toonami. I think it was. when they went away and then they brought it back. Yeah, but like ah, they weren't showing the they were showing the uncensored stuff at night. Yeah, when they would be cursing. I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah, on Saturdays. Yeah. So yeah, but like okay, so anybody who and like anybody who's paying for their own Netflix probably watched Dragon Ball Z first or Sailor Moon 
or depending if you're a little bit older, maybe like Tenchi Muyo in the mid nineties, and then maybe later on Naruto, Hamtaro. Oh yeah, Hamtaro's yeah. fucking amazing. Yeah. There's not a million entry points. Like SD Gundam. There's only so many. Actually, if we had time, we could count them. We could count how many. That's entry true. Points. We can if we can narrow it down to like entry points. We'll probably do a from tsunami. Yeah, yeah. It there's only that's probably ninety five percent of the entry points. Yeah. Also, you know how Netflix works. If you're not already watching anime, Yasuke won't go pop up on your shit. Yeah. That's well. No, it was in the top ten. Really? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, they, when they, it first they showed, dropped, they showed it was in the, the top, top 10. ten. Yeah, that's on uh, that. But that's the only time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's Other the only than time. that, you're not going to see that shit unless. Yeah. So like know, now, I don't think it's top ten anymore. So no. yeah. So upset. I mean, it really wouldn't hit top ten anyway if they would have had the up down voting. Look. So let me. Let me still have top ten. No, no, no. Wait, wait. That's no, no. I mean, that they have it, but it doesn't do anything because they got rid of their their. Their voting system, not voting, but their rating system when they started making original content because they didn't want to risk <laughs> yeah. people downvoting their original content and mm-hmm. not watching it. Bullshit. So now they have a fake one, where which is just an up or a down. down. Yeah. Now the DVD <laughs> Netflix still exists, yes, and they still have the rating system. But still get DVDs Instant in the middle? Q, well, I mean, it's not Instant Q anymore. Now Netflix is the Instant Q. But the streaming, they have a fake rating system that does nothing. That makes sense. Huh. Yeah. I dislike lots of things, but it doesn't change anything. So that makes sense. Yeah. Yep. Because they, they're going to push their uh, their original content on you. Regardless. Wild. Regardless. Ain't slick. So anyway. That... I will. Sorry. No, go ahead. I just want to I'm gonna go out with, you know, picking on LaShawn Thomas because I do want. Well, no. That is why I'm picking on him. I'm picking on him because I want black creators to not be laughed at. When they give their their uh, what do you call that shit? I don't want I don't want people to like yeah. low key think like this is a a type of what's a this is a handout because you're black, right? Like I want mm-hmm. if you're gonna like do black shit, by all means, but make it make sure it it's good. Like yeah. Oh my god! Like, well, you got a black character. Like, this was the uh, you had the but perfect he had vessel. The keys to the kingdom. Keys to the kingdom. Perfect vessel. Like, oh my god. He could have like, literally copy pasted Afro Samurai and I would have not been mad. I yeah. literally would have not been mad. I would have been he, didn't watch, mad. he didn't watch Afro Samurai. Oh, that know. came out after. Uh, anyway. yeah, right, this, right, right, yeah. All I'm saying is if we're going to say how dope Yasuke is as a person, like historical figure, don't make him a vehicle as a magical Negro for some superpower <laughs> girl. Right. Who like and then like what was that also? Like what was the what the fuck with the Oh powers? yeah, I forgot. We keep we keep harping on mechs and wear bears, but it's mechs, wear bears, and Psyonics. telekinesis. Yeah, or, were they psionics or telekinesis? Yeah, because yeah, it, it was more than just tele- moving shit with their mind. Moving yeah. shit in your mind is telekinesis, but she did, shooting power she is did also more because like, like, they were they had like telepathic connections yeah. and then they went into the psychic world and like why did she have the same power set as the white dude? I thought they were in Japan. <laughs> but the white dude is Japanese wasn't Japanese? no, he was uh from like somewhere. He was, See, he was European. That's, that's my point. I can't fucking tell. No, oh. so look, the one thing I let go was the other foreigners because that was the time when Japan was getting like people coming in before they closed back down again. I mean, no, I get that part, but like, like I just visually, mm. oh, no, and, then, and then they had the voice actor be Japanese voice actor, so that's why I thought him? he was, yeah, oh, shit, I didn't even notice that. <coughs> I'm pretty sure he had like a European name. Can't remember now. I don't even remember. He was a white dude though. I'm, I'm like ninety nine point nine percent positive he was a white guy from Europe that was came there as a mercenary or some shit. Like Nobunaga was all about the mercenary life, not mercenary, but like welcome to my kingdom life. You can come here and be equal. Anyway, yeah, yeah, you, you had a chance to really go ham <coughs> with a black character being written by a black man, being produced by a black man. You know, throwing in some lo-fi and some hip hop, and that ball was Ooh. dropped in my opinion. I didn't. Oh, shout out to Flying Lotus. He did his thing. I thought, I thought did, the music was decent. Thing. Oh, no, yeah. that's what I'm saying. He had all of that and still dropped the ball. Oh, okay. I got yeah, you. Yeah. That's one thing I'm not going to That was definitely on. a plus to music. It was like, yeah, that, music was great. That opening is like, make sure I had to go oh, to my Thundercat. Spot. Yeah. yeah. Yo, shout out to Thundercat. I didn't know you sung, nigga. I thought that was like a joke <laughs> video. Dragon Ball Dude. You're not the first person to say that. <laughs> Bruh. He has, he has had albums. <laughs> I am so ashamed of myself. He should be. So many people thought he was just a joke. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, he was he's, trying to do that thing with the the black Justice League. What's that? Him? I don't. I don't know. I know no. he's he's Boondocks. He's Cannon Busters. I don't think he, he did. was. He Truly. was. Uh, he was on the Cora team. I, I, uh, I'm sure I don't think it was him. Though. I think that's it. Oh, sorry. I'm confusing black people. Um, I love Boondocks though. Fucking great. I mean, I mean, but he wasn't. Okay. He wasn't creative control of Boondocks. Was it? He was just. I think he was Truly, animation. 
is 50 Aaron cent? Magruder was creative uh, control. Name right, Aaron Magruder? Yeah. 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 He was just on the animation team. Uh, and I think same thing with Cora. Jamil Salim. Uh, and Anthony Piper. Yeah. Never mind. I'm racist. Yeah. <laughs> so shout out to those guys. I love Trill League. I have like. Oh, have that, that's what that's what you're talking about? Yeah. I heard yeah. you say Black Justice League, but I, I didn't know what you were talking about. I We need Trill League. I would, and we I, need Trill I League to it's, be animated. It's coming, it should be coming. Yeah. But I think it got picked up by a lesser service 50 cent. Oh, okay okay uh so Curtis jackson picked saw it. high dive is gonna air did did it did, are you, are you lions gate lions gate lions gate g True. unit film and television association of lions gate when was this article i thought it was like that crackle. Was two years ago I, yeah i thought like crackle picked it up or somebody i could be wrong the panini might have slowed him down okay yeah. so maybe it's still coming like and like crackle is just holding on by like jesus in a string i was mm-hmm. like just wait till trilly we gonna come back I mean, I'll go, I I'll go so. back to I Crackle. I'll go Trill- back to Crackle for Trill League. That would. shit was funny. Trill League is awesome. I have, yeah. I literally have a hard copy. It's, go, it's dope. Yeah, Sean Thomas, third times the charm, my brother. Yeah. I mean, we so, go, we three look, strikes are out. We wish you the best. Yes, but I think like, you can do it. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. Like, though, is that? Did, hold on, I thought we had another. Line. Okay, something else we we read in that interview though, like made it clear that like he he just an old gatekeeping. Uh, oh yeah, yeah put it in there. Yeah, I forgot what what he said, but Yikes. but it, it, he gave off the energy, the old hip hop head energy, where it's just like rap has hip hop hasn't been good since 1997. Everything after that is trash. I don't even listen to it, uh, so it's trash. So it's yeah. how you know it's trash if you don't listen to it. Like that that's the energy he was giving off. Very entitled. Yeah, and it was just like, all right, nigga. But yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna wrap up that yeah. portion because I think we said a lot. Because I can go all day. But feel free to let us know what you think um, on social media. You know how to reach us. So we'll continue that conversation. Mm-hmm. Um, in gaming, switching switching pace, Final Fantasy VII Remake Intergrade trailer dropped. So just to be sure for uh, the slow people like me, that is not Final, Se- Final Fantasy VII Remake Part, part two. 2. No, negative. It's Final Fantasy VII Remake DLC. Part 1 DLC. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Continuation of the same story. Yep. You got That's it, not dude. Confusing. <laughs> well, you got to remember, OVA. like Final Fantasy. It's, it's over. <laughs> now that I also know, because I didn't look into it, I didn't get a chance to watch it yet. Um, it Have makes you sense. played it yet? No. So, <laughs> have you played it yet? Wow. <laughs> he I'm looked at me and he looked away. <laughs> but uh, yeah. <laughs> Butter, um, uh, I mean, to get, I mean, to give you that Muppet energy. I mean, that's a legit <laughs> Final Fantasy Final Fantasy 7 is a legit, you know, childhood RPG for me. That's beautiful. So I'm gonna go back and play I mean, it. Me, me too. I love it. The same beat. Yeah. yeah. It was my first Final Fantasy. Yeah, me too. It wasn't my first fantasy as a child. Uh, it, but was it wasn't the first, final one either. It was your first final. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, oh, wordplay. So League of Legends? Y'all don't know that he a rapper. <laughs> Right, right, right. So, League of Legends Arcane teaser trailer dropped. Uh, it's going to be like an animated show on Netflix that they've been working on for like seven years. So, they finally got Netflix to pick it up, I guess, because they were. a show? Yeah, and it's going to be based on the champions that are in the you game. You said they've been working on a show for seven years? Yes. God damn. Like, they've been around for a minute. Yeah, and yeah. they were they released a whole trailer about it like a year or two ago, mm-hmm. and they never released what who picked them up or anything or where they were going to show it. So this is like news that Hopefully someone picked them up. What about the uh, so the music videos and stuff have the you animation mean a, for the a characters squad in it, right? Not D squad. Is that the same yeah. team that's doing the yeah. animation for the? Uh... No, I think they have like an actual studio doing it. Gotcha. But I can double check. I I was shocked know. when I saw it. I was like, oh shit, this is yeah. real. Yeah, I mean, not that I follow League because y'all are all trash, but you know, we're the we're the <laughs> highest grain. Um, a toxicity. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they haven't banned me yet since twenty. Which account are you on? <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> I'm on my original account. Okay, mm-hmm. <laughs> fuck all y'all. Come see me on Angry Birds. You probably don't even play that shit. You know, Angry Birds two came out, right, Tiff? Right. <laughs> are you serious? Yes. Yes. Fuck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I had to delete Angry Birds off of my phone. Oh, oh, no. You still stuck Angry Birds? What? Yeah, bro. God damn. <laughs> I do love Angry Birds. Hmm. There was a movie, too. I don't know if you missed it. I saw the movie. Yeah. I saw the movie. Oh, okay. Okay. How was the movie? Kid liked it. It was, it was, yeah. it was Kitty. Yeah. Right. You know. I, 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 I was curious about it. Yeah, it was for that demographic. It was perfect. Like It, it wasn't know. like a Shrek 2. 
Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But it was Wait, it was you don't right. like Shrek too? No, I'm saying Oh, Shrek okay, yeah, was, it wasn't on that level. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know what's not kitty? Pokemon Snap. Okay, okay. You know who buying Pokemon Snap? Grown ass niggas. Yeah. Me. I mean, I, I haven't bought it yet. That's oh. my regret by the year. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wholeheartedly regret. Yep. Speak your piece. Yes. Uh so Go I didn't grow up with the original. Uh so I never I never played it for the N64. I didn't have an N64 growing up. So Whoa, what is that? Aliens? Yes. Dope. Uh, <laughs> that's the Pokemon company hearing you. Yeah, they, yeah, that's, they that's fucking, in, yeah, they're coming for me. <laughs> I will tell you that uh, <laughs> Pokemon is very nigga. powerful. <laughs> yeah, it's actually kind of scary when you realize how powerful they are. Yeah, I still got Pokemon Go somewhere on my phone. You might see what they're saying Pokemon repeatedly on the podcast. Pokemon that sounds like them. Yeah, it does. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, I didn't grow up playing the N64 version, so I didn't know what I was getting myself into, but everybody was hyping it up. So I was like, all right, I'm going to pre-order and get it. <laughs> and I got it, and I played it on stream, and I was like 45 minutes deep, and I was like, is this it? Oh, is, no. is this it? Yeah, it? It's the Pokemon <laughs> game for people who either really love Pokemon or don't play games. Mm. Mm. Yes. That's yeah. accurate. Okay. And, and for the age range, too. Like I think like kids... Like it's yeah. definitely. I mean, I guess it's I mean, simple I, I guess enough. I was a kid when it has I played the first one. I guess. It's like Animal yeah, it, it well but taking pictures. Yeah, yeah. It's a photography sim, but like, yeah. 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 But Animal Crossing is like you know slice of life sim. Mm-hmm. Same with mm-hmm. Harvest Moon and um, Stardew Valley stuff like that. Like, there's not a lot to do in this game. Mm-hmm. You're taking pictures Take of Pokemon, pictures. which yeah. you know I knew I kind of semi knew what I was getting into. I just thought there would be more. Like I knew I wasn't battling and doing shit like that. But I guess I I was I didn't grow up with the nostalgic feel that everybody else did mm-hmm. and that's why everybody went out and bought the game you so. put on some yeah. thundercat and then you listen to uh i mean <laughs> is that <what> shut the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> i don't even know so tell us about uh returnal damn we're just gonna skip past why pokemon was trash all right uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought that's what you yeah i mean you i don't know from? well you anybody else played the, the original yeah, yeah I, played, but I was also like 11 yeah but i mean like there like i love there were games that have come out that's that actually were the why same game out. right like Photography. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's cool. Like everyone's got dreams. Um, like your dreams everyone's dreams. got dreams. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, one I shot know, at a time, wasn't... right? You shoot your shot. <laughs> and the per- I forgot. What I the literally fuck the remember... professor's name is. It's not. Per- it's oak. No, no. It's another one. It's like some dumb name. And it, oh, like, in the game. It's another yeah, tree. The, it's a new professor, and is I can't remember his name. It's stupid. Uh, maple. Nah. Elm. Dogwood. Nope. We already had Elm and Sycamore. That's something uh, stupid. Because I remember like reading, I was like, really? Cedar? Kwanzaa nope. Cherry Blossom. You have Wisteria. <laughs> Just like, Professor Wisteria? Like a, it, nah, it's like some something really off. It's it's not a tree. Professor Japanese Fire Red Maple? Nah. He looks like a dude bro, or dude, uh, dude bro too. Is it Professor Trad Pine. Is nah. it the one from Sun and Moon? No. Mirror? Yeah, mirror. That's what it is. Professor Mirror. That's not a tree. Mirror or yeah. is it mer? Like mirror. Mer. mer. M-I-R? It's, it's, it's a mer. M-I-R-R-O-R. It's, oh, it's a little M-I-R-R. mirror. Oh. Yeah, yeah it's literally not a tree. It's the word mirror. mirror. Yes. Yeah. Oh, they fucking up. Yeah, it was but weird. It looks like it's supposed to be Professor Kagami. Is Kagami, is Kagami a tree? Yes, mirror. <laughs> so yeah man it wasn't for me uh i'm definitely look out for a giveaway for that game <laughs> definitely gonna god dang put right. that in the Let giveaway pop that. that'll be a nice gift over somebody yeah, for so real people so. like the game like yeah. it's not you know i think i got legend of uh rc is coming out so i'm cool with that there you go um yeah eternal yeah, though shout out to that eternal was beautiful um obviously i i kind of knew what i was getting myself into obviously i knew what i was getting myself into buying the game but i know a lot of people were upset because they didn't know what to expect they didn't do research on the game so a lot of people bought the game and they were upset because they were like you know like what is the, this yeah and they're thinking it's going to be like um dead space or mm. uh like what's another one uh like episodic where it's like it's following a story itself where you have save points and this, this and that but essentially it's a dungeon crawler it's a it's like hades um, i still want it even though yeah, it, yeah. I, i'm having a blast playing it like what's the world is it like space or like you're on another planet and oh. you're reliving your deaths oh yeah you, you're like stuck in a time paradox Bullshit. and you have to figure out why the aliens are stuck in the same one and why you're stuck in it so it's like you land you crash land on the planet and um you pretty much like you're you're uh samus <laughs> walking around in the suit uh picking up shit but you keep you like like you know that like the the play, like you obviously know as the player but the character doesn't know so she's going up and picking these logs up from her old dead self that have already, that's already lived this life oh wow yeah so like and each time you get further and further in the game when you die you get another piece of the story 
Mm-hmm. Can you use diplomacy with the aliens to figure out what's happening? You no. I mean, you pick up stuff to scan and learn their language and stuff, and you keep that. Like there are certain abilities you keep throughout. Like once you pick them up, but like weapons and stuff like that, you're always uh, gonna have something different. And every time you come back to life, um, what's that Tom Cruise movie? I don't think you're... Oh, you're talking about Edge of Tomorrow? Yes. It's a lot like that. Oh, okay. So oh, it's yeah, like... Think you got Edge more and more of the story as if the movie went along. Yes. It's yeah. exactly like that. Oh. Um, okay. But the world is different every time you come back. So you're going to mm. walk through the map. And it's going to be a different stage, different um, aliens yeah, little, and shit. Okay, the yeah. best thing to do is not die. I mean, you have to at some point. Oh. Eventually, you get to the point where you get good enough to where you just don't die. But the that's the one thing that people have been complaining about besides there not being a save point is that it's like long... Yeah. So it's like, oh, you no probably, it's like so, a two hour run, maybe two, I think somebody's beaten in like so two hours. So the whole game is two hours, so you gotta make it two hours without dying mm-hmm. to beat it. Yeah. How much does it cost? Hmm. It's a PlayStation well, yeah, it's a PlayStation Five game, so like seven Seven hundred dollars. Two hours. I mean, good, it's but, gonna take you longer than two hours unless you're just a fucking beast playing the I mean, game. I've been playing games yeah. since the Like 80s. even the people that were doing the reviews, a lot of their average time was like four hours. Wow. Yeah. That's not bad though. How much was it? You said four hours for seventy dollars? Yeah. I don't do- High high level people though. Yeah, these are people that like play okay. games for a living. Okay. That's all they do. Okay. I, so not me. The niggas ain't waking nah. up at five in the morning. You're not going yeah. to work. <laughs> nope. Waking up at nine and playing games on stream. Joey. Oh my, gosh. No. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, god uh but yeah, it's I I fucking I I was playing it on a stream and everybody was like, yo, what's this? Like, you know, like I think I accidentally encouraged people to buy it. So and it's PS5? Mm-hmm. Does it look nice? PS5 only. Yeah, it looks great. I got a PS5. Yeah, and it's not even using like the uh PS. Me too. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> using the 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 PlayStation Five like, full uh, capabilities. Oh, so it could and it run still on... looks good. It probably could run on four. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. I mean it's cool, but it's it's it great. Is. Yeah, I would definitely. I it's worth like for PS Five games. It's it's worth getting because there's not a lot out. Be more than the Xbox. True that. Yeah. Is there any Xbox games out yet? MLB the Show. God damn. All right. right. <laughs> That's it. That's all I can think of. Woo, I'm gonna there's get nothing by else. Halo. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I got one now. True. Mm-hmm. So I have the trifecta again. Nice. I don't know what I'm going to do with that big black box, but <laughs> no, figure right. out what plane it came from. <laughs> Try to save those know. lives. Bring it to my house. Did y'all hear about, uh, 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 fuck. PS5? Yes. PS5.2. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah, the new model design. I will say yeah. that that model is trash. So when I read, I read a different article and they said that it's going to be the same model, but the internals are going to be different, not the external. Do you feel with a new chipset? I'm a, like I don't really care. I'm not gonna get it. <laughs> like I just it took me forever. To, not took me forever. I was smart and pre ordered. I'll wait for the actual pro. Yeah, like that's what I'm gonna wait years. for. Mm. I'm not a point two. Y'all kiss my ass. And you honestly, I, I mean, don't know the second you, iterations are always not that different. Yeah. Right? Have you taken yours apart? Money wise. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the uh the the sides come off easy as fuck. So you can customize it. Like yeah. you know, I think there are a couple of companies that Sony's not going after where you can actually buy a customizable place for it. Cool. Um, nice. There is one thing that's common that I, I don't know if it's happened to yours yet, but the disc drive gets super loud and you literally just have to open it up and tighten the screw. Oh, that's it. It's really weird. It's a little shaky. Yeah, but like you don't even have to fix it. It's just loud and annoying. Oh, it's just like one of those like really weird issues that the PS5 has. I don't like that. Yeah. I mean, what? I mean, I've, that's a minimal issue, though. It's yeah. It's other like, than that, there's nothing else. Uh, like my Switch, I'd literally just replace the fan on that bitch. That shit was yeah. horrible. You have to do that on the Switch. Well, okay. my Switch, I have a Gen One Switch, so Me I too. pre-ordered that shit too. My fan like just died, and it was overheating playing like regular games. Like, within thirty minutes, it would be hot as fuck and just cut off. You know what? To be fair though, I haven't played it for like hours at a time since Zelda. Everything I couldn't get through thirty played. minutes of a regular game. Mm. Yeah. Damn. So the fan went bad, and it was like those little fucking fans. So you I had to like, up? yeah, I had to buy a special toolkit because like, uh, Nintendo has the proprietary uh, uh, screws. Size. Yeah, I yeah. was like, fuck. Well, it's the same with Apple. Yeah. So it's like in the BMW. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it was annoying as fuck. And then some of the screws because it's so like the this is 2017 it came out. Some mm-hmm. of them are just like rusted and like you know you can't get out. So I ended oh, up damn. having to take a Dremel and literally like get Jesus. rid of a screw. But I knew I was gonna have to at least like I you wanted to have replace them. Out. To replace them? I did. Okay, okay. Yep. okay. Nice. Oh, yeah. So Yeah. But yeah, what was the other game after that? It was Returnal. Uh Fortnite Naruto. What? <laughs> there no, was I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. that is a rumor though. But yeah. you were talking about Resident Evil. <laughs> oh, there was Resident Evil. Do you want to talk about Resident Evil's fucking amazing so far? Uh, you mean I know... the tall lady? Oh yeah. Yeah. Um Oh, okay. Big Titty Goth. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. okay. She's step on you. Not yet. I mean, she hooked me up uh, in her sex dungeon. Um, 
Okay, nice. nice. So that nice. does happen in the game. Uh, Hell my yeah. man's going through some shit. So this follows the same character from Resident Evil 7. Uh, <laughs> the open, like, not to spoil it, but like the opening of the game is just like, God damn, like, can they let this man go? Like, he's not even a regular <laughs> main Resident Evil character. <laughs> like, Jesus. That's he like just, it's all the smoke. He's a regular guy. <laughs> Oh, he's not. He's not. Wait, this is like an NPC. And no, well, it's the same guy from Resident Evil Seven. Oh, like he's okay. not a main. Like he's not a Chris Redfield. He's not right. a Leon. He's just a basic dude. <laughs> like, so he's just trying to live. Like, yeah. And he gets I dragged into this leave. situation. So it's like this is a weird one though, because it's not like you know, uh, Resident Evil traditionally zombies and like you yeah. know whatever chemicals uh, umbrella. I almost said umbrella academy <laughs> <laughs> umbrella put together. Yeah. Um, but this has lichens, vampires. <laughs> Oh, that's dope. It's, it's a bunch of shit. Does he turn into a werewolf? Wait, is it no, not Umbrella it. Corp anymore? It's, it's, it's Corp. They did some weird shit. Okay. They they is took this, it to a different still a direction. T-virus? I don't actually know anything about No, it's, about... it's different. It's, uh, okay. it's like the T-Virus did exist. Like the way that the, it's like a, this is like a semi-reboot of the franchise in a sense. Mm-hmm. Okay. So there's still like a T, like Umbrella Corp still exists. Um, because in the last game, the, one of the workers was from Umbrella Corp. Okay. So but this is vampire. this is different though. This is like some uh fucking we're in Romania. <laughs> like there was a witch. Oh, there's witches and shit too. Like it's it's different. Damn. Can you yeah. shoot witches? Not yet. You can shoot lichens. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. So I mean I I've played like maybe two hours worth, two, three hours worth. Um I'm not gonna speed runner. I'm just gonna like play it casually. It. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just them same wonky controls they've always had in Resident Evil. Or like this like one's different me. because, like, I've noticed, uh, and I don't think they did this in seven, but like, if your character's fucked up, you're shooting, it affects, like, it affects him. Like, oh, you get sloppy. Yeah. Ooh, so it's oh, like, wow. you'll so be playing like it. Yeah. So you'll be playing. I was like, why is it not fucking aiming where I'm pushing it? And then you'll see, like, oh, my, my person's fucked up. Mm. So, Do you like, still turn slow shit. Mm mm. Oh, good. I might get it then. No, nah, it's not bad. I stopped playing it years ago because when you would have to turn, it's like, I will say I the one thing I hate about the game, and those are just Resident Evil games in general, like the puzzles take fucking forever, like fine and go through and do this, this and that. Yeah. And then like this game, um, I don't know if you play Resident Evil two remake where uh Doctor um, Doctor Manhattan, whatever the fuck his <laughs> name was, <laughs> that was walking around chasing you and shit. Yeah. And for this, it's the big titty goth girl, which is fine, but like her whole premise is chasing you down the house to like kill yeah. you. And you gotta restart from wherever you were. So yeah. It's it's worth it for the PS5 and PS4. It's out for like what, all of them? Um yeah. It's, it's worth picking up. I'll be streaming it on Fridays until I beat it. Nice. Mm. Nice. Tell the people where to find the stream. <laughs> Brotastic underscore nerdum. Twitch.tv Brotastic underscore nerdum. Hey. Nice. Yeah. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But yeah, I guess the last thing we have for gaming is other than Fortnite potentially having Naruto. Well, they just got Batman back, so that's nice. Oh, for real? Mm-hmm. I didn't see that. Yeah, so uh, DC has a thing going on right now with Fortnite where the, um, the comics or whatever, they're doing like a, a six shot or five shot uh, DC slash Fortnite crossover, the same thing they did with Marvel. Oh, but the difference with this is that if you get the comics, you get a code to get shit in the game. That's dope. Yeah. So yeah, like each comic at the end of the comic, you have a code that you can use for like in game, like uh, uh, guns, yeah, uh, skins, bullshit like that. You get the utility belt. Uh, you get the whole Batman skin. Oh, that's stuff like that. Um, okay. Harley Quinn was like the first first issue. You got Harley Quinn from that issue. So and it was like um, because Raven's in the season too. The current oh, season. That's dope. So Naruto being in it would be dope. I mean, it'd be different. Like they just started putting like their own generic anime characters in it. So I guess that makes sense. True. Yeah. People probably liked it and they're like, oh, I guess we'll just pay for Naruto. Yeah, because <laughs> they did like some weird anime skin pack and it's just yeah. 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 I mean, mm-hmm. Kids like it. Yeah, for the kids. In, in the for not love the kids. I mean, adults like this shit too. I guess. But they yeah. Got, uh, I was gonna say they got Terminator, Alien, all the other bullshit in Fortnite. Like okay. things, skins, and and packs you wouldn't expect to be in Fortnite that like adults would buy. So mm-hmm. adults do play Fortnite. Mm-hmm. So that's where a lot of people are getting their streaming money from. Um, PS4 and Discord. So apparently Sony owns a minority stake in Discord now. I want that shit. Shut the fuck up. You want that shit? <sighs> yeah. They're integrating it into PlayStation. Would you rather Microsoft bought that shit? Because that's what they tried to do. Okay, that's fair. You want ants? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, all right. All right. All right. So yeah. In that case. Yeah. So I, I'm here for it. I'm ready to see what Wait, this. So is Sony buying Discord or they no, just no, 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 it's a no, partnership. It's a they partnership. Have a, they have a minority. Which, stake. Yeah, yeah, Discord was like, all right, that's better than what Microsoft was trying, trying to buy, buy the motherfuckers right. out last yeah. month. Yeah, okay, which will be hard. Well, shout out to Discord for like you know standing your ground. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, good job, Discord. And shout out to PlayStation, Sony to like be a not partner and yeah. not yeah. like money hungry. Yeah, and join our Discord. Yeah, join our Discord. Yeah. 
Yeah. So I'm excited to see. <laughs> <laughs> During Long this time Discord, Mike got that joke. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Mike Reese was not even inside of. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, so shout out to I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited to see how it's going to look on the Sony like PlayStation platform. So it's going to be it's going to be very unique because a lot of people use Discord anyway. Like yeah. I I use Discord and a lot when I'm be gaming. Cross platform ish, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So, um. Be- yeah, but like Sony didn't honestly need it. Like if anybody should fucking partner up with Discord, it's Nintendo. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. Nintendo needs it, like well, they need it because like their Nintendo Online uh, talk to to hang out whatever that that dumbass yeah. app was like that's trash. I mean Sony's not great. So. I mean it's at least it's they better have than something. Nintendo. Yeah. It's better than Nintendo, yeah. So all I want is Xbox Live to bring back the the avatar uh, in person Netflix thing where you can watch Netflix with your friends and your little avatars are in the little movie theater together. That's oh, all I want. I forgot that okay. was a thing. Don't they have that on um, VR or Oculus? Something oh, shit. similar. I heard somebody say that before, but I need Isn't a, that a horror movie. It's a joke. Yes, you don't but... say it's a joke two seconds after. <laughs> you got to let it breathe first. <laughs> Call comedic timing. Anyway, so Falcon and Winter Soldier. Okay, so Black Falcon. We, we talked. <laughs> right. We talked about it last week. My man, about Black how Falcon. we felt and everything. But uh, two things: we said that the last episode felt a bit rushed. And it felt like something was missing. Mm-hmm. So this isn't confirmed. This is all alleged, but allegedly. In, in, <laughs> Allegalos. In my heart of hearts, I know it's true. So regarding the it feeling rushed, uh, especially the last episode, um, they a friend who has a friend who was working on set said that they never actually rapped. If you know anything about productions, like that's a big deal when they officially say, all right, it's a wrap, folks, we're done. Uh, yes. uh, they never actually rap because of Corona. They just kind of stopped and fizzled out. They didn't do their um, 16 bars. And that was Young Milton that provided that information, correct? Who? Young Milton that worked on Marvel. Yes. 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 Who? Yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> uh, so, like, you know, Corona creeped up in there and, like, like messed things up. Uh so they didn't get to like finish finish. So they kind of, uh, <laughs> so they kind of like did what they could to wrap it up. Uh, which probably is why that last episode felt a bit rushed. You but, see some of the janky stuff coming out that people are like catching. I mean, yeah, yeah. But I mean, we it, we it's caught funny. it too. Like, I don't give a fuck my my big thing was the his his damn stunt double. Like, how are you gonna slow mo the stunt that double too. doing the flip? But you see like, the rubber hey, shield. No, that shit's hilarious. Bucky when he has a shield, it's like there's a, a gif of it like bouncing off. Wiggling, the floor. yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. I'm gonna find that. I don't hold that stuff against it, but that shit is funny. I like I like seeing that. But we talked about that last yeah. time. Anyway, yeah. uh, but the big thing is like something was missing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so allegedly, what it was was the flag smashers. They were doing what they were doing because they're displaced refugees or whatever. Yeah. Uh, so there's a, there was, there's a virus actually that, uh, you know, in the universe, uh, outside, like during the blip and that was causing havoc and they were stealing vaccines. Oh now, shit. it kind of, it, it was hitting a bit too close to home. So they felt like Disney had to uh. doctor it up. So not, and it wasn't even just the Corona aspect, but when you think about it, like, especially with the, the struggle with the vaccines now and Think about how that would have looked as a black, like how how black the story is juxtaposed against uh, a vaccine story. That probably wouldn't have gone yeah. over too well. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. If yeah. that's if that's true, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. That's my theory about the the black part. But we do know that they definitely like hinted at the vac. Like you see them stealing vaccines. That's some yeah. But they mention that. But they don't. Because that that explains why what's her name was it Charlie or whatever uh, homegirl Aloy, yeah, <laughs> the main flag smasher uh, Ginger Girl, she they they don't focus on why she uh she turns evil or evil you know she wasn't evil but you know what I mean uh it's because her mom died from it and like not only that but then they also took the super si- soldier serum so that like amps up uh their emotions yeah. yeah so if you're not she, pure of heart yeah, yeah. yeah. so it. So that that's why she did what she did, but they didn't really like focus on it because they would have taken out the vaccine storyline or kind of like they didn't really take it out. But they kind of skirted around it. 
So that's why it so, kept feeling like things were a bit off or missing. I was gonna say, so we just lost character development for the yeah. for the villains more so than anything else. Yeah, gotcha. and a little bit of world building. Yeah, yeah. So, but that that versus like my mom died from a disease that people normally have. Yeah, or my yeah. daddy never existed. Yeah, and then yeah. they also pointed out that like they did the thing where they explained the threat off camera, like in ADR, mm. and like they uh, I, I forgot who put out the YouTube video I was watching, but. He he said that they did that shit in a uh, Artemis Fowl. Disney is known for doing that. Oh, I never if saw they have movie. to do recuts or whatever. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah it, it wasn't. Yeah, I heard bad uh, things. It's just yeah. They if they have right. to do recuts or re rework the story or whatever, you know they'll do. Uh, not just Disney. This is a l- old trick, but they'll explain the threat or whatever off camera. Like, and they did that in post. That's mm. kind of a sign that like things were changed or had to you know get reworked. Weird Which that they what, didn't already think that that would have been an issue writing it. Well, they probably wrote well, it. When did production for? I don't know probably. when it started. That's why mm, I think that's weird. It that's... was also like the black aspect going up against the. They didn't want to seem like they were trying to sit. Yeah, they're trying to be apolitical on the vaccine issue. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's probably yeah. yeah. They probably they probably wrote it before Corona hit. Yeah, yeah. Like even though like I'm pro vaccine, I can see how it just the optics of it looking like hey. We made this uh, story pretty black. You know, we got Sam up here giving a speech at the end and Isaiah Bradley and all that in a story where the bad guys are stealing vaccines because the government won't give it to them. Hmm. And, like I could see. So they're just like, oh, we just not not even about to dip our, fo- our feet in that mess and let's, let's work around it. Yeah. So I ain't mad at them, but like I get I, now we at least can have an idea things. why. Some things were missing. Yeah. That's probably why they should have stuck to the story. So niggas would be like, see? And then they would go get vaccines. Because like, now they don't want to get them. Could, it could have okay. went either way. Okay. It could have. Right? I mean, we'll it, never know now. We'll it, never know. It could, I think it could have gone the other way. Also, they forced Isaiah Bradley to be experimented on. Then they took the vaccine away when he needed it the most. But it wasn't. It was. <laughs> see what I'm saying? I, I'm, see? Uh, they should have mm. gave it to him. But anyway. I see what you're saying. Yeah, no, and I see why they cut it. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, they recently said why uh, Doctor Strange wasn't in WandaVision either. Oh, yeah. That, I, uh, oh, what'd they say? I'll let you say that. Oh, they said they didn't want it, like they didn't want they his didn't appearance want, to take away from Wanda. They don't want the white guy to come in and save the day. Which makes sense. Yeah, yeah. and that oh, makes okay. perfect yep. sense to me. Cool. Yeah. Like, yeah, that makes sense. Because the way it was originally written, like he show, he tells her how to beat Agnes. Yep. At the oh. end, and it was like, yeah, I get it, I get it. The mansplain. Yeah. Okay, I'm about to say because he wasn't about to fight her. Because I mean, nah, no, they're the, finally giving us real Wanda who would wipe his ass with the floor, or wipe the floor off his ass. Yeah, yeah but it was without like, the eye of Agimoto. He, right? He gave her the the instructions on how to beat her, and it was like, uh, I no, get it, yeah. I get it. I'm glad they pulled that out. We don't need that. Yeah, yeah. she had to use her own powers. Now we got Loki. That's what, yeah. limited yeah. series. Mm-hmm. Speaking of which, I didn't even realize Bad Batch came out. Like I knew it was going to come out on Star Wars Day, but I, nobody talked about it. And I completely forgot about it. I wasn't. Re- I'm not a stormtrooper guy, so I'm not. That wasn't like I'll watch it eventually. I think we talked about this like episode one or two when they announced it too. Yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. I'm not hyped for it. I'm like it's yeah. there. That's cool. I um, I think the reason why I'm not as hyped as I should or I, I probably would have been is. I still haven't finished Clone Wars and Resistance and Rebels and all that. Oh, then you shouldn't watch it. Well, I Bad should... Batch, you don't need Rebels for Bad Batch. You just need uh, Clone Wars. Because this is this is Order sixty six, right? This is at like this takes place right after Order sixty six. Um, I think that's where Bad Batch. Is. Yeah, yeah. But like you, like you don't really need to like there. The characters are introduced in Clone Wars. Okay. From Bad Batch. So, so is it like Commander that's all Cody you're and shit? Huh? Is it Commander Cody and shit? No. No. Okay. No, Bad Batch is a, a different group. They're like they're the Bad Batch of the clones that were all different. Okay, but you said they they were introduced. In, they were introduced in Clone Wars. Okay, so yeah. it's, they so they're, they're getting their own spinoff. Is what it is. Yeah, this is yeah. their spinoff. Like what happens after because they didn't, they weren't affected by Order sixty six. Oh, okay, okay. So like everybody else was around, like execute Order sixty six, and they're like, what? Yeah, <laughs> what y'all doing? Yeah. Whoa, <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. All right. Okay. Yeah, it just wasn't. I don't have interest in it. I'll watch it eventually. Was it like six episodes or some shit? I don't know. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be short. Long. I think they're yeah. still coming out, though, right? They didn't yeah, put it all weekly. out at once. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. so, there's time. But speaking of Doctor Strange, they, they dropped the release date for that. Um, oh, they March dropped the release date for everything, actually. They dropped the release date for Almost Thor. Everything. Blade got a, a production date start, too. I mean, we'll get to it in a second. Did you say Blade? Yeah. 
They said they were doing production uh, summer 2022. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Marshala Ali. Yep. Oh, even yeah. though he's cotton mouth. But, I mean, I'm oh here yeah, for I it. forgot about that. I mean, I'm not. A, I'm not. Anti- I mean, they technically can that. Oh, they did because it's not canon anymore. Uh, yeah. Boom. But so did they make it, it official out. that it's not canon? Yes. You know they, what else they said isn't canon? Shield, but they said they're going to bring back some of the characters from Shield to be canon or make them canon. Bullshit. All oh, right. Okay. I'm here for it. I mean, hey, I didn't watch Shield. I make it work. So Thor, Love and, Love and Thunder, May 6th, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, which is the sequel, Bly 8th. Uh, they said they're going to reshape it in respect to Chadwick Boseman. Um, the Marvels, November 11th. Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, is February 17th, 2023. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is May 5th, 2023. Drax's last movie. And it's a long yeah. time for me to be hype about Guardians. But you're missing, you're missing one. Yeah. Well, no, the Guardians well, are featured one, in Thor. But at the end of the, the, the I guess it was a trailer. <sighs> Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four, but they didn't but have no a release date. Yeah, because yeah. oh, well, yeah. they don't know what they're gonna do yet. Because this will be time. To Literally, 17. yeah. But yeah. it's like, by the way, we have this property now. Call them <laughs> the new, the new, like how Thanos was the last big bad for that art. Galactus. Galactus. No, Doctor Doom. Oh, Aww. well, he'll be there. Well, no, bad. it depends on how they go about the origin story and shit. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it all depends. But I'm just saying, my theory is it's going, they're, they're they, going to do Doctor Doom, and it's going to be eventually. Time runs out. So that's, that would only work if he's a human and he's like somewhat featured in some of the movies and then he becomes Doctor Doom in the Fantastic Four movie. But other than that, he's not like, you know how they had Tony Stark in like most of the movies for uh, phase one. Yeah. Or not Tony Stark, uh, Nick Fury. Do we want villain Doom or do we want... You would have to have villain Doom. Or yeah. do we want Doom that's like, you guys are stupid. I'm going to take over and save I, you. I, th- I mean... Nah. Well, I don't know what I want. I don't... I mean, damn, that's a bad. hard one. I don't want anything. Well, he's I, just I'm, I'm just here he's for the ride. But no. I... I think that they're going to do Doom as the big bad. Or Galactus. But, but is Galactus I mean, but too it's, soon? It's not that it's too soon for Galactus, but I feel like Galactus is too anyway. specific. Or no, uh, I heard Secret Invasion. Yeah. Like, which would make oh, sense because yeah. we've already set up for Secret Actually, Invasion. Actually, that's why yeah, they're, they're the setting time. up Secret Invasion. Yeah, yeah so but, we've already got that. I don't, I don't think Secret Invasion is a, is a multi-phase arc. I mean, Secret it Wars could, as a comic was. It could be, but like... I don't already know. set up like, secret invasion. I don't think I feel like they they have to come with something that's Thanos level and, and the secret stuff isn't Thanos. I think level secret anymore. invasion they might end it with the Marvels if I'm looking because like now it's not just Captain Marvel two, it's Captain Marvel. Well, it's the Marvel, so it's Photon and, and Miss. That's Marvel. what I'm getting at. Yeah. So yeah, they can't all fight one little thing. Yeah. So that might be the culmination of secret invasion, and then that's possible. Well, then you know, then you jump back into. Uh, I just can't Guardians see it being, being a secret in space, so they might for bring a 10 in. year span. I, not 10 no, years. Not no, 10 not 10 years. years. Yeah. That's why I think it might be I a phase four. Because like the Infinity, Infinity Arc, phase one, two, and three, that was, that was 17 a 10 years. Year. Seven, 17? Right? No, it, no, it was wasn't. It was like There's 12, because no or, or, it was 2008 was Iron Man. Yeah. And oh, it okay, ended in 2019. Okay, yeah, yeah, So yeah, to yeah. 11 years. Because we didn't even get the threat of what Thanos was until the Avengers movie. So that didn't technically count. that was 2012. Yeah, so... Remember how Guardians teased Adam Warlock and they never saw him? Yeah, well, I mean, we, we don't we know yet. We, that was yet. Guardians 2. Oh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They've been asleep the whole time. <laughs> that's Man, probably going to be up. the plot for 3. Oh, yeah. my yeah. God. They, they can't. They, there's no way they could do that in 2 and then not bring They're not. Yeah. Marvel's I mean, not. They not don't drop shit like out. that. My like favorite years. level Marvel is Cosmic Marvel. So I'm like, I'm really hoping for Adam Warlock. I'm just hoping this bitch loses her powers in the Marvels and Rogues there. Yo, that's what... That's what we all really want. Facts. We want we want Rogue to at least just Rogue, at least just Rogue mm-hmm. to be in the Marvels, and for her to jump on Captain Marvel's back and suck her dry. I don't think I don't think. Uh, mm. uh, so get like more more combat line. Line. What you really want, man? Yeah. What you really want? <laughs> this isn't the film I was watching. Tell me what you want. What you really really want? <laughs> what are you doing? Step on yourself. <laughs> but. Do do I don't think it's going to be the Marvels. I think they'll they'll, they'll do that eventually because we know that it's coming. Yeah. But I, I don't think with that movie. the Mar- <laughs> yeah, not, not that movie. Maybe. But it would be hype if that. Well, happens. remember when they announced uh, Captain Marvel 2, that was like, that was the big rumors that it was going to feature some of the mutants because they wanted Rogue to take take them powers. Yeah. I think it's going to be canon just not Rogue. Yeah. yeah. We Cause, want... Because they... Because now that like WandaVision went a different path, the I right think, path. I think that no, They're not bringing right. in the X Men oh, yeah. just yet. Yeah. True. So you maybe wait for that development first before we get the. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. But no matter what happens, we. I'm just saying we want '90s animated series Rogue with the big hair with the super strength. That's what we want. The other big stuff. Is no, that what you? Is that what you? 
No, just big, Won't okay. take you for a and ride. Big accent. <laughs> and big accent. Yeah. Big accent. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, speaking of big accents, um, I don't know. That was a bad <laughs> So, WB. Wow. The, Worst segue. WB uh, confirms black Superman rumors. We don't want that shit. I don't she want said, it either. Speaking of big shit. Wow. Can we get, like, regular Superman straight first before we go right. and dive into, like, Or can I get Earth a character that's just black? And Superman? I know black Superman. What I said was going to happen. What I said was going to happen. We talked about it. Listen, y'all got Icon. They're not going to use Icon, right? Like you, that's Black Superman too. Wow. Yes. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want Black Clark, Clark Kent. Okay. I don't care if he's, he's been not. Written before. It's not even Clark Kent. It's a different character. You want Bark Bent? <laughs> <laughs> is it Valzad? <laughs> is it Valzad? The problem yeah. is people don't know about Valzad. Pete, the movie goers. But like, if you go that route, I don't mind as long as it's like my my issue with it is that they didn't do. Uh, like they didn't do Man of Steel, right? So, Never. <laughs> I mean, Man of Steel is good, but they didn't continue on with that. Like, yeah. Other than the, yeah, the Snyderverse, you know what? Disclaimer. Oh, what the fuck? Disclaimer. Mm. Mighty Mauricio. Disclaimer. I'm gonna watch the shit. I'm just telling you, don't do it. And it's too late. They're already gonna do it. They're already talking about uh, uh Jim looking Carlo for a black director, right? Lex Luthor, I, a fan favorite. I, I mean, I mean, I think he that, you can't say they're talking about that as a fan favorite. It's just people on the internet talking. Well, that would fans. be weird too. So like, I know, but like that's that's. Lex they would still be the same fucking Lex. Like this is a different character. It's not like a. Re- it's not. He's not Clark Kent. Yeah. <laughs> I want John so, Carlo Esposito to not be a bad guy because now he's being typecasted because nerds. And he's. I mean, he could get that bag by all means. Get your money, black man. But like, I can see him as an. Advisor. I've seen you be mm. the bad guy four times More in in the recent. I mean, he obviously in his whole. What was that TV show he was on when he was nice and they had to be bad because they were fucking with him when the war was ending? It was, a, it was like 15 years ago almost. Hey, he's about, been typecasting that, uh, since the 90s. Is that, uh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Uh-huh. The white boy ran in his house and uh-huh. like threatened to shoot everybody because the world was ending. Like the power went out and shit. Jericho? Is that? Is it Jericho? I, uh, I, remember. Remember. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But anyway, uh, that's the first time I saw him have to be bad. But he started off nice. I mean, he his the first time I seen him as, or well, not first time I seen him, but chronologically in his filmography he's been bad since school days yeah school days he was the bad guy yep i'm i'm tired of seeing him as the bad guy like i want to see him as like the loving father like anything maybe he just likes it we i mean he he, clearly he likes it (laughs) or at least he likes the money i'm not not mad at him i'm just saying personally he doesn't like and and yes like gus from breaking bad is like tier villain but we got it. We got it already. He's not bad in the boys. He's just stern. No, he's a, bad guy. He, he's a bad guy, but yeah, he's, not, a bad guy. he's not like he's the CEO bad villain. guy. Yeah, yeah. He's like suit bad guy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean he just trying to get his bag. In the boys. <laughs> he's like, Homelander, stop fucking up. I want my money. I mean <laughs> yeah. really though. And guess what Homelander won't do? He won't fuck with him. At least not yet. I haven't read the comments. What else was he in? Recently besides uh the boys? There was something else that was like kid friendly. I just can't remember what it was. I just remember he had an interview where it was his daughters were like, no, you can't do this to the, oh, fucking Mandalorian. That's what it was. Oh, yeah. 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 So, like, you know, his kids love yeah, Baby Yoda. He was like, I'm going to kill that great yeah. shit. Like, oh, yeah. yeah I remember that interview. That. I was like, yo, yeah. that's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. See, so, yeah. we've, we've gotten him bad enough. Like, just so good at being bad. I, know, yeah. I, I, <laughs> I was going to say that. Disagree. Damn it. <laughs> I don't disagree. I just don't like when people are typecast. True. So, I mean, but if he's if putting he, it if in he, himself, like playing into yeah. it. At this yeah, point, I mean, yeah. yes, yes. I will say personally, I, I just want to see because I know he can do it. I know he has the range. He's a really nice guy. So, yeah, yeah. I met him Wizard World 2014. I don't like typecasting when you get stuck and don't make any more money, but he's still making money. I mean, he, oh, yeah, he's he making more bag. money. Yeah, yeah. So I'm fine. With like that's what I said. Like he, yeah. By all means, get the bag. I'm not. I'm just saying personally, I want to because I know he can act his ass off. I want to mm-hmm. see him in different roles. That's it. That's yeah. fair. Man, if he was like a little bit bigger, he'd be a good John Stewart Greenland. Because it'll be the it's gonna be the Samuel Jackson thing where like he's always playing Samuel Jackson, even though and then people will be like, Oh, he's a bad actor. It's like Samuel Jackson can act his ass off. He just don't want it because he just enjoy playing Samuel Jackson. I don't want to see that for John Carlo Esposito. I mean, it's pretty late in his career not to want that anymore, though. I mean, but <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Also, Samuel Jackson is like 70 and he's got like 200 movies under his belt. So he can do whatever the fuck he wants. And <laughs> commercials. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> credit card commercials. But yeah, this black Superman. Uh... You see, Michael B. Jordan said that it's he, not him, so leave him alone. Yeah, or he didn't God say bless. leave him alone, but he just said it's not confirmed. 
Um, yeah, he, he's denying any. He pronounced it wrong I hope anyway. It's not him. Like him. I'm not playing Seppa Man. Like what? You mean Superman? (laughs) 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 Oh no. (laughs) Yeah, so I like DC Comics. Uh. (laughs) Yeah, the Iron Man guy is great. Yeah. My guys are coming out with a Superman uh, coach collab. So here's my thing. I I forgot to say this. I the real reason that I don't want any of the black Supermans right now is because I feel like they're doing it a diversity grab and a handout while their franchise is dying so when it finally fucking dies they're gonna say see they made a black superman and now we can't get any more superman movies because it's gonna fail because no one knows who that was out is so if you comic book but readers. you know what else with dc a lot of the shit like they'll start it and then it'll never happen so maybe yeah, this is one of those cases um, crossed. and like i'm I, I would be cool with black superman we just call him superman i'm but, not against uh diversity moves i'm not i'm also team uh, make them black, also black characters, because you know that, that, that there's that whole debate. Like, stop making superheroes black and uh, just focus on the black characters that already exist. I'm team both, you know. Yeah. Put, put all yeah. the niggas on the screen. Like, <laughs> I just I would but, rather them have an established storyline universe. That, that's yeah. that's with where your I original am. Superman. Like, fix your shit first. Yeah. And then we can start doing the the alternate stuff and the the uh like. There's no reason titles. we can't get a Man of Steel too. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like I'm, I'm actually like I'm a fan of Man of Steel. I know I'm I liked not it. a big fan of Zack Snyder, but I'm a fan of Man of Steel, and I'm I'd want another one. Like we I, get Henry Cavill as Superman. I thought he was I, good. I thought he was pretty great. Yeah, uh, Brainiac. We could get something. Like we don't need yeah, to go like, Lex, but like yeah, there's, there's so other routes. Yeah. yeah, I'm also not against a Valzad movie. I'm just saying. Just yeah, fix your shit, WB. If and, you want to do Valzad, do Superman. Do do what's his face? Do Clark Kent correctly. And then use that to introduce Valzad. Like, I want to see y'all yeah. get shit right consistently before you go fuck and don't, up. And <laughs> don't recap. Like, I'm hoping they're not doing the Like, they have to follow Val storyline versus, like, right. making him, like, this is an alternate universe where, you know, fucking yeah, Clark Kent was black and blah, 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 blah. So, like, you don't do that. Yeah. I feel like they're going to do that, though. I hope <laughs> not. Valzad. Really hope not. Because, mm. like, Val himself is a dope character. Yep. He ends up banging Power Girl. <laughs> Which we all know, Superman's cousin. <laughs> Wait, is it Supergirl, is, bro? She no, become, but, but I mean, like, is is it his universe Power Girl or is it Earth One Power Girl? It depends on the storyline. <laughs> okay, I don't really don't. I don't yeah, know. The way he was clapping cheeks. Yeah, yeah, for him. Speaking Good of clapping her, cheeks, I'd like to see a black man thriving. Because the way the the new Fifty Two was set up was Earth Two had Power Girl. And Supergirl wasn't there. That's right. That's so right. it was a uh, Power Girl. Like she was, I forgot what the fuck she was called in her universe. But uh, Robin was female and it was Huntress. Uh-huh. And then uh, so she, when they go back, they somehow get teleported to Earth One after Earth Two explodes or some shit. So like Supergirl already existed in that world. And then the older version of Supergirl, which is Power Girl, she was like, "Well, I got to become a new persona, even though I am this person." Okay. Same with Huntress. Sure. Not to get like technical into That's it. That's mad awkward. Yeah. Right. What's next? Invincible. Ooh. Ooh. That yeah. show. Think, Ooh. Denzel. Fabulous. Think. Ooh. What's next? What's on your script? <laughs> Look, man, like, I am so happy. I'm buying remembered. this comic. I, I don't have it. I don't. I don't. But I need it now. I never got I, as far as they did in the series. I don't need to read it. I can wait. I mean, for the next season. So far. No, not even for that. Just like, oh, I, no, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 I they need sold, it now. They're sold out. They're, they're sold out. Yeah, I condominiums, it. like, it's what, three of them? Gone. Gone. That shit was great. Yeah, yeah and I'm yeah. not doing that shit again. I did it with Guardians, and like, pff, I'm done. I tried. Uh, I couldn't find them. Not yeah, for cheap. Like, <laughs> mm. Once it's already popping, like that shit is gone. I uh, had issues one through. Like I used to read it, and then I just fell off. I never got to the end of season one though. Mm. So, but trying to be shit, a built tonight. Shit, shit's amazing. Nah. nah. <laughs> nah, Hell nah. nah, you saw that shit. There's no. How do I know that I'm in the top fifty percent? You right. don't. I'm not Until trying your head to get smashed. ripped in half. <laughs> <laughs> You want to take that risk? I made it. <laughs> it <laughs> seems like to me. So I'm not going to spoil this because they haven't shown this part yet. I did a little bit of reading because I was confused. See, he. I'm not going to spoil. He let he let the shit slip the last two episodes uh-huh. ago. Y'all I just told you that. I'm not going to slip. Okay. Watch this. But, no, but I'll say you already let it slip. No, the show that's been seen, like what's been animated, I'm about to talk about that because it's been done for two weeks. Okay. But the next part that's coming, I'm not going to talk about. Um, well, they in, Invincible takes some really weird multiverse theory things yeah. to like other comic book universes. Yeah. Do, but like, 
It's like there's they, they and they've already shown the signs of it in season one. Yeah. And that's without me going further and reading. Yep. Like I do know that there's more than one like of invincible himself timeline. Oh well, yeah. yeah, yeah, and like you know, they when he got fucked up by uh, the tiger Thundercat, yeah. whatever the fuck that thing's name was, <laughs> Battle yeah. Beast. They took yeah, Battle Thundercat. <laughs> um, they took a sample of his blood too. So, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, um, damn it, fuck. I lost my train of thought. Oh, oh, oh. no. I was gonna say that I I like how it looks like uh, you can being in that top fifty percent really just comes down to your willpower because Mark been getting his ass beat, but he ain't died yet. Right. And every time he comes back, he's more determined not to get his ass beat again, so he's a little bit stronger. Mm-hmm. So it's I got a Naruto feeling, logic. Yeah, that's that saying shit. He's got a little yeah. bit of anime Drew in him. Saying shit, you yeah. know, because his dad was hitting him for real. Oh yeah, he was oh, yeah. holding no punches. Back. Yeah, he was like, "I'm gonna beat this shit into you. I know I can heal you back." And he didn't die from it. So mm-hmm. like, I feel like he was stronger Should've. in that fight than he was against <laughs> Battle Beast. Oh yeah. yeah, I mean yeah, yeah. But now I think I'm sure it happens again later. But I feel like now. He should at least be able to go toe to toe with Battle Beast, if not wash him completely. Can I get a consensus from the table? Uh, sure. What's his girlfriend's name? Was it Amber? What the fuck Amber. was her? Amber. Amber. Fuck Amber. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. The internet's gonna come after you. So. Who? Fuck Amber. For so, what? Because people who don't who don't know about the comics, they only think, gonna come after him if we make this a clip. They. Th- I'm gonna make it a clip. <laughs> so fuck everybody Amber. Amber was... read the comic thinks that everybody who doesn't like Amber doesn't like her because she's black. No, I was cool with that. Mean, her character herself is trash. That she actually I, does yes. as a character. <laughs> I like the character. I just didn't like that how she, how she came back yeah. to Yeah. Because she said she knew he was a superhero well, and still bullshit. dumped him. Yeah. And right. then when she saw him, uh, him get his ass beat by his dad, she came back, hugged him, and kissed him right away. Boo-booed yep. on him. After, yeah. after they, she the one that dumped him. And she kissed. <laughs> she went for the kiss right away. <laughs> That's the only issue I have. You should have pulled that Naruto. So soccer. she was she was clearly doing the like, <laughs> like, yeah, I dumped you, but just kidding. Now we're back. So like that specific after thing, the shit he went through. Nah, girl, I'm with Eve like, now. You you find out him. your mom's a pet. Like, <laughs> look, you she did that. I I, I, I love her. But How she like went about it outside of that, I think she's <laughs> she's cool character, whatever. Uh, but that specific shit. That, that that's that, what like that ruins the character for me. Here's though. the like, thing: I was cool with her up until she was like, "Oh, I knew who you were." So fly away, fly boy. I was like, "People this don't want, bitch." People don't. You're want right. You to say, you're right. That irked me because like <laughs> people don't want you to say you don't like her, and people are getting up in arms because she's black. But let me clarify a few things: not black in the comic. They no. did that for us because people always say there's not enough diversity, so they they she's throwaway, so they made her black. Um, I mean, they made her a little bit more annoying in the show. Um, oh shit, my brain has died again. Oh, and. And to people who don't like her, yes, there are some people who probably don't like her because she's black because people are racist. But especially comic book nerds, especially comic book nerds, they're fucking terrible people. They changed my character. But at the same time, it's not the fans' fault that the writing is bad. Amber's poorly written. When you get to that scene, when you get to the college arc, she's poorly written because nobody alive on this planet is going to be like, "Oh, my boyfriend's a superhero. Let me be mean about it." What? Well, that didn't even make sense. Yeah, because yeah, she had already known by that point. Yeah. Yeah, like for the her fuck? to be like, you coward, you ran away. Like, yeah. she wouldn't have said that if she, she knew. She knew he didn't run away. Right. Yeah. That's why I think she the writing. She knew he said he came back, why didn't put you a suit help? on, and got his ass That's beat. why I was like, fuck right. And then right. that's the way, yeah. That's why, why I'm clarifying help? that when I, I like, there. for me personally, and I'm assuming y'all, when, when I say I don't like Amber, I'm not saying I don't like Amber because she's Amber, or because she's a woman, or because she's black. I don't like Amber because the writing got terrible at the college arc. You know what? I'm with you. I'm going to die on that hill with you. Yo, yeah. Fuck Amber. Me and Tina Y'all both have the same consensus that, watching the shit. Like, like, when she said like that, that shit, we were some, both like, That's some real Amber. mean girl shit. Like, come on, it's, it's not even mean girl shit. It's like no, psychotic it's just, shit. Yeah. Like, how are you the type of person that says, Listen, like, you, you should be focusing on me. Beat. Yes. And then told him that he ran away instead of... Uh, and because, on top of that, she says, focus on me. Don't save the fucking planet or anybody else that you need to save as a superhero. It's because what? a fat white she, dude wrote her character. Me, and me, the, men traditionally cannot write women. Well, to be I, fair, she's also not black in the comics. That, no, so. That's what I was saying yeah. earlier, too. Yeah. So. so, yeah. Think about it. They made her black so they would get diversity points. And then they fucked her up when they kept writing mm. beyond what she's supposed to be doing. Be, the mad comics at don't that. Do all that. be mad at that. Right. Not us. Yes, okay. true. I get. Be that. mad at the writer, yeah. not the fan. The discrepancy. The writer it's gets Robert that bag, Kirkman. Yeah. Walking well, I mean, I don't know if he specifically wrote her for the for the show. Yeah. He probably he he was a producer on the show. Well, so I mean, the, he had. He I probably, mean, as far as like the team that wrote 
diss Amber for the show. Oh, I don't know. Mm-hmm. They okay. dropped the ball. Yeah. Okay. They because the comic book Amber is not nearly as bad, and she's not black, so you, no one can say you don't like her because she's black. Mm-hmm. But now in the show, she is black, and she was getting gaslit for a hot minute. But when she knew, that's when it's yeah. To when stop. she figured it out, that that should have yeah. been okay. And okay. that's bad writing because that's not normal. No one's that or maybe that. the characters just fucked up. We'll find I mean, out later. <laughs> no, I was going to say, it's, it's also like a you know, it's a throwaway character. Like, yeah. yeah. It is. So, like, mm-hmm. they don't have to have great writing. There's yeah. kind of like a add-on. She was she's supposed to be there, so they break up, and then he gets with Eve. Eve, yeah. I was yeah. about to say, we're just, like, she's filler. Yeah. yeah. I knew that from episode one. I don't know yeah. why it's taking so long. Yeah. So. Speaking of Eve, her powers are crazy. Yeah, that shit is weird. That's, that's my theory for uh, how to beat. Omni Man, and she's the only one dismantle his molecules. Yeah, unless Viltrumites are just that fucking ridiculous that she, that she like that can that he can hold his atoms together. Yo. Like uh, Invincible just needs to like okay, you know Put my dad my hole. dad got to die. All right, dad, come fight me. Meet me here. Meet me at uh, Waterburger, whatever the fuck he worked at. And then Eve, <laughs> Eve pops out of the dumpster and turns his ass into a chair. Takes his legs That's off. That's it. Yeah. Like, that's the only way. Because otherwise, this nigga just gonna run through everybody. What if they don't kill him, though? He's a sentient living chair. Well, at this point, he, he just can't go back to his ass a chair. In a chair. Lord Jesus. They have a seat. Yeah. There's not... I don't think there's gonna be... I mean, I, I didn't read the comics past this part, but like, I don't think there's gonna be another fight with Invincible and Mark because he abandoned his post. So to See, his that's planet, was, he's a piece of shit. Uh, we were talking about yeah. this, like, because where is he going? Is he going back to Viltrum? Because well, back up. He he's got to go back to hiding. No, he's he, got to go back no, to hiding. Yeah. He can't go. He can't, he can't report go back because he, he abandoned, abandoned his post. post. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. And like, if if Viltrum is the way he says it is, they're gonna like, be you weak as hell. Why'd you leave? So he can't be coming yeah. back with an army. They're gonna try himself, to kill him. Yeah. Unless they find out themselves and then they come. But he himself, like. Yeah. That, and I don't know if I, uh, at the end of the season, the alien, you know, the dope one, uh, that Seth Rogen yeah, voices, yeah, yeah, yeah. comes yeah, back. Yeah, Seth Rogen. Yeah, I he, didn't realize that was him. <laughs> he sounded so funny. chill. Uh, <laughs> the, the he says dude. that the they know that, you know, the Viltrum might abandon the post. Yeah. Like, he came to warn them, but then he said to be on the lookout because once they find out that that post is abandoned, They'll all hell is going to break loose. Yeah. Have you seen this man some backup? I, Y'all I, know. Did he, I don't think he, did he say that? I yeah. Thought he, I thought he said that. He came to warn. He came to warn. And then he also he said, one, but if then, he's not there, they're going to come. I thought he came to warn Invincible that there's a Viltrumite. He did. He did. And, and he, he was, was like, like oh, yeah, he's like, yeah, that was my dad. He's gone. And then he explained the story. And he was like, well, once they find out and catch word, they're going to come. come nonstop. Okay, okay that's yeah. yeah. They're saying said, the same thing. Is, yeah, yeah. yeah. He okay. also told him the council was interested in him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because help. they're trying to form a coalition to fight the Viltrumites. Yeah. 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 They need somebody as strong or stronger. <laughs> he's I'm invincible. curious if they're going to bring in uh, <laughs> Savage Dragon for this. Who's that? Uh, one of like other uh, Robert Kirkman's other characters, but they did a lot of crossovers. And he's like out in the universe somewhere. He's, he's based in the same one. Didn't they show a dragon in like the little clip before he said finish high school? Maybe that I we that, that we didn't see. I might have missed that because they showed they showed uh, Titan and like everybody we saw along the way they showed and then they showed a dude summon a dragon or something that we had that we didn't see. I might have missed that. I, might have I don't remember away. that, but it could have. It's been like two weeks. So. I also don't know who Savage Dragon is, so <laughs> it's it's one of uh, Robert Kirkman's other characters. Um, but he's like he's got his own long, big st- like comic book series, just like Invincible did. Here for it. Oh, that's not what he looked like. Okay. Yeah. Oh. So he's like, uh, kind of oh, yeah, like Batman Superman, like you had Invincible and Savage Dragon. It's like the creature from the lagoon, wherever that old movie was called. Yeah. yeah. I'm cool with it. Well, shout out to Stephen Yoon, um, Herschel Ali. What's the other lady's name? The voice acting is pretty good. Oh, and J.K. Hit, Simmons, uh, who took Homeboy me a long did. time to get into, but I, I'm Are cool Are you with kidding it. me? I was nah, sold man. on him first episode, episode bro. one, I was like... It was Invincible. I wasn't sold on It's because you just kept I kept seeing about, his real face. Uh, mm. no, and I was like, oh, this is weird. No. I, see, it, that didn't bug me because I saw Whiplash... Like for some reason, when Whiplash came out, That's I don't know if it was for the thing, movie. Right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it was for the movie or if he just decided on his own. I'm gonna get ripped as shit, and you know he's just he's, he's, he's the last old man. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Even when fuck? he was uh, training for um, not training, but he was just in shape for <laughs> Justice League. Yeah, <laughs> like I was like, what? Why? Yeah, <laughs> yeah why are you you're so Gordon? Chill, just Diesel <laughs> taking like, an HGH. There's, like, there's, yeah. pic- there's pictures of him in the gym, like. Like, like damn, Grandpa I'll get my own pictures ass. of Spider Man. <laughs> like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, shit. Oh, man. 
And now it, the first episode took me the whole episode, but by two, I was like, "All right, I can get down with this." It was invincible. You know when I stopped so when I stopped thinking about J.K. Simmons. I mean, it didn't bug me, but when I stopped thinking about J.K. Simmons, was the end of episode one when he just killed everybody. Yeah, yo, yeah, because it's oh, so Whoa, this is victory. this is so funny. I don't know if we told you this, so we were watching it here, mm-hmm. and of course, Maurice and I fell the fuck asleep. And I think, oh Denzel, my god, did y'all wake up to that shit? Huh? Oh no, man, even, that'd be great. Even worse. Uh, Denzel, I think it was Denzel was like watching uh, Jim Lee Brock was <laughs> sorry, <laughs> was watching uh, Dishes or something and like he looks up and then he said people just started getting opened up and then he looked at us and we're just knocked the fuck out. He's like, yeah. God damn it. Like, <laughs> I'm like, nobody what? didn't no share the experience. With, uh, uh, <laughs> they're dying. <laughs> <laughs> and we are gone. Damn. And like, what if I woke up at the end of it and I'm like, <laughs> 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 Uh, <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, the Gorn death is great. I was like, ugh. Top-tier. Also, robot, a weird ass nigga. Yeah, it was a girl. weird is an understatement. I'm gonna myself yeah. 14 too, bitch. What's yeah. up? Yeah, weirdo. He felt. But yeah. to be fair, he was the same age, right? I mean, she's actually like 25. Yeah, but he's still nasty. Yeah. He made himself teenage age to be to match her body. Like he did. Really he's weird. doing it all for her. Robot a simp. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Started off as oh, an definitely. Intro. Yeah. We went from incel to simp. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mortal Kombat. All right. Uh, All right. I liked it. I liked it. I think um, someone said it was one of the better video game movies ever to come out. And I 100% agree with that mm-hmm. statement. It, it's it a did video well. game movie. It was fun. It did That's well. That's all I asked for. And, uh, it did video game shit. Uh, yeah. yeah. The Asian stayed Asian. Like uh, There was no white Goku in this one. I didn't have a lot of gripes. Yeah. Like, I mean, like yeah. obviously, like the Cole character. Was it Cole? Is that his name? Yeah, Cole. Oh, the main character. That was yeah. fucking annoying, Lewis. but whatever. They gave yeah. him uh <laughs> never back down, kid. I thought yeah, he was setting him up to be the new Scorpion down the line. That's what I was Me hoping. But whatever. Which would have made sense, honestly. Yeah. I mean, that's still not outside the realm of possibility. Like, I feel like not with that gold suit bullshit. They I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about Mortal Kombat lore and everything. He's or, not a real or, character. Or, I know. Nope. I don't yeah. think so. But yeah. like, I don't know if what I'm trying to say is I don't know if like because they 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 hope to do like five movies out of this. I don't know the story enough to know if Scorpion is someone who pops up in every would be someone who pops up in every movie. I think Scorpion just the first stays one. the same because Scorpion's still dead technically. Yeah. So so that never uh, changed. Well, I mean, it changes, but, but not. The I same. can't see the actor who plays Scorpion, who's already like fifty five, keep doing it. Keep doing it. So if it, well, they depend on how fast it, they make these bitches. If he wears his whole outfit. It won't, it won't be him anyway. Yeah, true. It's a good point. They wouldn't. No one would ever know. He wouldn't really have to they go back into like, like Hanzo. But my thing is, you would know. Sub, or, little, Scorpio, ah, fuck. Scorpion. Scorpion has no more reason to come out because he killed his rival now. So that what happened thinks. the same in the games too. Remember? True. He That's comes true. back to help, uh, like as an Earth Defender. That's true. Okay. Because like the tournament still hasn't happened. <laughs> like it didn't. <laughs> yeah. It didn't happen in the movie, guys. Yeah. This was like yeah, the fucking. The this was the like training a training tournament. Yeah. <laughs> I, the only reason I didn't like they Cole broke the rules is because of that. Like. You didn't get to see Liu Kang be the strongest. It was like the lead character, like he usually would be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even though they gave it to Cole, he was beasting. Who beat Goro, which is fucking wild. Yeah. I yeah. Fuck, how you beat Goro, dog. You just started. Yeah, bro. Yeah, and Goro's supposed to be like the best fighter. Yeah, you couldn't even Prince win your first Goro. cage match. It's his shirt, man. Oh, oh the shirt. On the, on his his shirt gives him strength or just defense. It. What's that very odd parents character? Juan <laughs> Dissimo. <laughs> <laughs> the the, the, the fucking heel, defense. the golden heel or some shit. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> But I did like everybody. I like Kung Lao. Kung Lao was great, hilarious. Yeah. Um. That I'm glad they, the costumes legit. Um. Kano was, was fucking. Kano made that movie. Yo. Yes. I didn't want to like Kano because I hated him in the games. I never played Kano. Yeah. Same. But man, Kano, Kano fucking beast. made that movie. Yeah. 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 Um. I Wait, finally liked Jax and Sonya. I still don't like Sonya. I'm okay with Jax. <laughs> Sonya's per like I actually like Sonya in the first movie more than this movie. I did I like agree. OG yeah. Sonya more. Yeah. But I like this Sonya enough. Um, I didn't like. Uh, she didn't play as much uh, of a uh, major Shang role. Song. I feel like as I didn't like Shang Song either. Yeah, I was like, like did like who? Shang Song. Shang Song. Okay. I, did, I, I wasn't, wasn't feeling it. it. Yeah. Mm. And that well, might you know, just be because I'm so like I, the first one like that. Like yeah. he played it so well. Yeah. And like they they used He's, his character and persona in the games going forward. Yeah. So yeah. I was just like uh, that. That's him. It's and, hard to take that. He's still alive. The fuck? Bring him back. He was just in the game. He was on eleven. So look, damn. I'm gonna get in trouble because my wife listened to this podcast. Oh, but I'm gonna do it. She's just gonna have to be mad at me. She be hearing us talk like this. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. It's okay. She. This is nothing new. 
This is nothing new. Sure. Uh, but I have no stake in Mortal Kombat. I never played any of the games. Or I played the games, but like I don't. Sparingly. Yeah, sparingly. Like it, So the movie, you know, I was just, I was just along for the ride. Mm-hmm. And my favorite part was Melania's Yams. Mal- 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 Melina's <laughs> Yams. What, whatever that bitch with the teeth. I love the Millennium's so- Yams as well. The Millennium Yams yes, were the, great. The Jeez. Millennium Yams. <laughs> the, the, the chick with the mouth? Oh my. Like, and they knew what they were doing. Their first shot? You see the oh, man? And then I the didn't front, even see it. Bro, what? what? What were you looking at? No, they, they, the you know what, they you know what that does say? When they do cast Katana, she's gonna have to be thick. Cause she's cause Melina's a clone. <laughs> Yo, yeah. right. Oh, okay, okay. Woo. Or you just get the same actress to play. I both. remember I saw somebody yes. somebody yes. Uh, shared a tweet that said like, uh, "Why they got this girl out here with their edges like looking like that?" And then some dude was like, well, "Y'all just be saying the shit, the weirdest shit. Like she's a fucking demon. Like yeah. what? <laughs> was she ain't worried about laying her edges? She ain't got no eco style. <laughs> Plus I wasn't looking right. at her. Edges. She don't even got a dentist. I forgot the uh, vampire chick even existed in the games. She couldn't mm. even wipe the, the bat off her mouth. I, I can't remember her yeah, name. Yeah, I forgot like, about I, her. Like, I've never seen... Well, she's never been in a movie. Well, no. Was she in Annihilation? Maybe. She might have been Wait, in Annihilation. The, the thing? Yeah, the one yeah, Kano... Yeah. Uh, not Kano. Uh, Kung Lao kills. Yeah. 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 Kung Lao watched her ass. Yeah. But, like, I'd never seen that shit before. Like, I'd never seen her... She didn't have a presence in Annihilation if she yeah, wasn't in Annihilation. it was very brief. Yeah. It was like Rain being in Annihilation for, like, a half a second. Yeah. Yo, oh yeah, I didn't like Reptile that much, but I wasn't upset either. I was okay with it. We don't even know if that's the official Reptile. We True. just know it's a Reptile from yeah, that he clan. Didn't say he was you reptile. know what? You're right. Yeah, it was just a random. It was just one of the the Bruh. the creatures from yeah. the same thing. Can I get Ultimate Mortal Kombat three and, and number two? Can I get Rain? I was and... shocked we got Cabal too. Yo, mm. yeah. Does Melania come back? Yeah, because she's Melina? a clone. Melina. 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 Yeah. yeah. Melina. You can keep calling her Melania though. That's it's fine. fine. Millennium I don't want to fuck around call the Trump wife. Sasuke. Melania? What her name? Melania? Sasuke come back. Melania. Melania ain't got no pics. <laughs> okay, good. J. Cole. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't need the Roshimaru in my life. Jermaine. Yeah. But I, I I need some rain, some Ermac. Uh, as long as they need, bring uh, back Noob 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 Melina. Um, Why would they bring her back? Melina? Yeah, Melina. she's a clone. I don't fuck. Just bring her ass back. Literally. Yeah, they will. I mean, she's a clone. <laughs> uh, who did... She, at the end of the... the Jesus. At the, I just, <laughs> at the end of the fucking movie... You see Goro get picked up. Yeah. Who else got picked up? Uh, Shang Tsung. Like, did they pick her? Fucking, up? Yeah, Melina was one. Yes. And there was one other that he picked up. Well, no, Melina got burnt to death, right? Oh yeah. Can we get Sindel? But Melina's a. Bruh. She has to come back, or she's got to be. Got to be. Yeah. Yo, I just. Are we gonna get Shao Kahn? Look, you have to. That's that's, that's who. Have to, yeah. They that's already fresh, mentioned him. They already mentioned him. That's a oh, fresh I actress. Yeah. Uh, I don't. What's it, what's it, I don't even know. I don't, I'm not even going to worry about. They that. were talking about Jade too, but being in the next movie, that's nice. like one of the rumored ones. And Jade is bring, bring the epitome of yams. So, oh yeah, yeah her, her yams outside. Yep. Ooh. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna uh, rewatch it tonight just so more, it here. Mauricio can uh, <laughs> see what he missed. Raiden was a piece of shit too. Before we leave off, like oh, yeah. the fuck Raiden. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like at all the like Raiden's useless normally, but like he's his been parts were limited, the, and it, it was probably he was the, the most useless in this movie. Yeah, I guess he was finally Asian. This motherfucker let uh, Kung Lao die, and then gave the shittiest excuse. Yeah, <laughs> like what? Okay, you just teleported everybody, bro. <laughs> what? Wasn't Kung Lao the champion? Like, yeah, he was like, supposed yeah. to be. Yeah, he was the descendant of the champion. Of the champion. Yeah. Probably five hundred years ago. But like, he was like the number one seat. Though. Yes. Oh yeah. And like, because man just... had he had all the abilities. Yeah. He was yeah. good. And you know what Cabal said? Oh, your boy's about to get sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Actual line in the movie. Yes. <laughs> as soon as Kung Lao made I love that the moan, sound they make. Yeah. <laughs> Kung Lao made Luke that Kang moan, like... <laughs> and Luke Kang was like, "Oh, no, yeah, you know. oh, that's just your boy. He about to get sucked. Get his soul sucked." I was like. <laughs> Look, I would Damn. watch a movie of just. I love it when they dude. scream, "Daddy!" Is it weird that Cabal remind me of Raphael from the Ninja Turtle movie? <laughs> Not weird at all. Like, I was watching, I was like, "Man, he's giving off like Ninja Turtle energy." <laughs> Cowabunga! Yeah, <laughs> bruh. All right, but yeah, that was Mortal Kombat in a nutshell. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm. I mean, it, like, it wasn't amazing, but I, I had fun, and I want to see more. Mm-hmm. Uh, I almost want to play the games, but not. The game storylines are way better. Ultimate Mortal Kombat. 3 I don't, I don't care that start. much. No, no. But like, if you want to, I, just... I made. I think I made Tina watch Mortal Kombat Nine CGI or the uh, the the cutscenes. Oh, okay, it was that mm. good because it follows the, the first movie storyline and then it expands and goes beyond that. Like, Does it's, it have it's Millennium good. Yams? Yes. All right. All the Ninja Girl Yams. <laughs> but yeah. So uh, other than Millennium Yams, uh, I think that's it. So 
Thanks for listening and uh, catch us on social medias. You know where to find us. Uh, Until next time. Yeah. What do you mean?